Hey yo, what's good, what's good, what's good? Welcome to Reflections of a DJ, the road podcast presented by DJ City and Beat Source. I am one of your hosts, DJ Crooked. We got DJ Never here. Yo, what up? We got DJ D Miles. What's good, what's good? We got Jamie the Great. Yeah. And we we got Nuria here. Hi guys. Too. She <laughs> made it back. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Bye. Yo, so Hi. What was no the, longer a special guest or what? <laughs> I, I don't know. She, she's <laughs> no. like the Robin Givens of our show, right? People love her. People yeah. love her. Why, why Robin Givens? Because <laughs> like uh, she was kind of like the rational, logical person on the show, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. And I, I feel like I got you to talk about your feelings. <laughs> we we're talking about like a bunch of feelings. The episode I was emotional on emotional shit. You know, it's funny. It like it's funny. Like every all the listeners I talked to who were male. They love Nudia. They were like, yo, we love that perspective. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone who was hating were females. <laughs> Damn, man. That was sad. That was Stick sad. together. They were What's like, going on? nah, I don't like, I don't like that. You know, I don't like her energy on the show. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's hating out there? <laughs> hey, Jesus. I know. I, I like, didn't get any female followers, but I got a lot of male followers. Oh, hey. did, right? Yeah. By the way, when you said Robin hey. Gibbons, you mean Robin Quivers. Robin Quivers. What? Who's Robin Givens? The actor. That chick that was married to Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. My bad. That's what I'm thinking. Why is Robin Givens? <laughs> that's why I was confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah was my like, bad, my bad. Robin Qu- Robin Quivers? Qu- Quivers. Quivers. Yeah. God, sounds like a porn name. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, with us. <laughs> yeah, the, the news. Yeah, with, Rob, the with Howard Stern. Yeah. The black news lady from Howard Stern. Yeah. yeah. That's who yeah. I meant, okay, not Robin yeah. Givens. That's what I'm like, Robin Givens. Not the right. gold digger. Yeah. <laughs> Not my kid. Yeah. Not the gold yeah. digger. Yeah. You're not the gold digger, Nudia. I don't, I don't know Nudia that well, so I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. How was your party? Oh. Big like, cry, baby. Ah. Oh, <laughs> it was cool. It was cool the first week. Uh, learned a what lot. What party are we talking about here? Oh, Dance With Me by me in Bossa Nova yes. in the west side of town. Where is it? Uh, inside the room in Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Nice. Yeah. Big, big uh, wake up call the first week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Learned a lot. A lot of. Things you gotta do. So wait, so this is Jamie's first party, Mm -hmm. right? And he's starting with with the homie uh, Bossa Nova. Yes. And they started his party in Santa Monica, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And the concept behind this party, right, that you explained was that there's no parties, there's no dance parties. In Santa Monica, there's not a lot of dance parties in Santa Monica. So you want you want all the shorties to come and dance. So the party's name is Dance with Me, mm-hmm. right? And we were breaking your balls on like an episode or so ago, right? Yeah. And you got in your feelings, right? Yeah. You're not in your feelings anymore. No. Okay. <laughs> so you realize you was in your feelings for no reason. No, I knew I was in my feelings. Okay, he you getting your feelings again now? By the no. way, people was calling me, like, getting mad at me, shit. <laughs> Were they? <laughs> yeah, like, yo, why y'all dissing Jamie like that? And I was just like, I, I didn't know that happened. You okay, though? <laughs> I, I, it's obvious that I'm okay. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right, I mean, so then the first party, how'd it go? It was cool. It yeah. was a, it was a lot of... Uh, a lot of college girls that Bossa Nova knew, they showed up. It was mm-hmm. a lot of women. Yeah. Uh, not... We didn't pack out the room. Right. But it was a... It was a what are we doing the next week to make it better and stuff like that? Right. Um, me and you spoke. You mm-hmm. gave me good pointers of what I should do. Right. Well, well you know what I like about this? And I wanted to talk about this so we could get updates on this. Mm-hmm. Because this is, you know, all these DJs, you know, all these big DJs tell the the younger DJs and the upcoming DJs, yo, start your own party, right? Yeah. Start your own mm-hmm. party. So yeah. everyone wants to start their own party now, but no one really knows... Yeah, you know what it takes or what the trials and tribulations you got to put into it to start your own party. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like these dudes created a flyer, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, "Yo, we good. We got a flyer." You know what I'm saying? (laughs) And it doesn't. It takes more than that to sell a party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, like Jamie is so personable, right? Because the podcast. I was like, you should be on IG selling this shit. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. all these other fucking DJs that are literally talking. Like, yo, even MoMA does that shit. Like, yeah. literally, MoMA, mm-hmm. who has, to me, the number one party in the country, everyday mm-hmm. people, he mm-hmm. even does these IG stories. He's like, yo, you know, Wednesday we in New we York hit, this Wednesday, yeah. Thursday we hit in LeBain, da-da-da-da. Mm-hmm. Like, he's literally listing, and he's, he's being a salesman, and he's showcasing yeah. his shit. Yeah. Yeah. So I was telling him, why aren't you doing that shit? Why aren't you flooding the market like yeah no one knows yeah. about this party and, and the flyer is not you're enough you're not selling you know what you're saying? not doing the work you're just posting the flyer the day of the party instead yeah. Of yeah. Like- and it's not like it's like a big venue it's not like it's live on Sunday because yeah. then that's a flyer that would impact motherfuckers right mm-hmm. yeah. like oh shit Jamie and Bossa Nova doing live on Thursdays now mm-hmm. that would itself be like yo that's a flex yeah. yeah but when you're building a party you gotta sell the shit you know like every week and it's 
and I and I, we were talking about that, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like if you look at your weekly party, right? You have the day, what day you have to ask these questions, right? Mm-hmm. What day are you gonna post the flyer? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What day are you gonna post the recap photos? You need recap photos, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Videos. Right? Yeah. Videos. Yeah. And yeah. you need like a live feed on IG stories on how fun it was or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta do this every week. Yeah. You gotta yeah. promote that shit every week, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You can't just have a flyer. You have to have a plan. Like, if your party's on Thursday, the flyer, you you got to pump it out Monday or Tuesday, right? Mm-hmm. To, mm-hmm. Right? Maybe mm-hmm. recap photos on Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. And then, then you got to post the flyer again on, on Thursday, Thursday morning, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you got to have something to show on Friday a little bit, right? Yeah. The mm-hmm. day after. Like, yo, mm-hmm. look at my IG stories. The shit was popping. Yeah. yeah. And then you kind of regroup over the weekend. And then Talk you start your it. promotional campaign um, again yeah. the next week. Repeat. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So we had this conversation because I was kind of like, I was getting on him like, yo, you can't you can't get frustrated if the first week was whack. Like, sometimes yeah. it's not going to always be that dope. Yeah. But you have to, like, keep building it and building it and making it. Well, you, let's you not know? say it was necessarily, it wasn't whack. But it wasn't I mean, the shit, outcome. I'm saying I'm just saying. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Nah, but but I, shit, I know this shit was whack, but it's cool. Nah, no, it's not. But also, like, <laughs> I had I had a surprise. Nudia surprised me for the second week of the, the party. The second week, Nudia came with her baddie. MVP, <laughs> MVP. She showed up mad early. She bought dope. the goons. I showed yeah. up at 10 p.m. Yeah, the cool, earliest I've ever been anywhere. You bought the goons. <laughs> nah, like I I had planned with my girls, and mm-hmm. like I told some of y'all too, but you guys couldn't come. Mm-hmm. But like I planned with my I planned with my girls. I was like, yo, like we've all recently gone through breakups. So I was like, fuck it. Like, let's just drink a shitload of rose mm-hmm. and go to Santa Monica and go to my boy's party. And so I was super excited for it. And then nice. I saw Jamie and I was excited. Mm-hmm. And then the first thing he told me was, Yo, so who are your friends? <laughs> like I drove four hours, three hundred miles. I said I'm so miles. happy to see you. Surprise no, 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 me! No, 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 no. He. I said, was surprised, but I'm like, who are your friends? Yes, that's the first thing out of his mouth. Who are your friends? <laughs> who tells no, so, so that's another good point, though. When you <clears throat> that? when you DJ and you start your own party, you have to learn how to become a good host. Yeah. True. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to have drink tickets ready for certain people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to take it. You have to like. You know what I'm saying? You have to Take greet shot, people, yeah. make yeah. them comfortable, mm-hmm. yeah. interact with them. It shit is complicated when you're DJing at the same time. Yeah. 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 But there's two DJs. There's yeah, you and Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova yeah. was great at that, by the way, because that's yeah. the first time I had met host. him. Uh-huh. And so, like, he already knew me from the podcast. And so he was, like, soup, like the nicest guy ever. Like, he was fucking And he really amazing. is. Right. Like, I met him for he the first so time. He was so nice. And I hadn't met him. And I text Jamie. I was at that bar, not Mom's even bar. knowing that Bossa Nova was there at Mom's bar. And I was like, yo, is that Bossa Nova? I text Jamie. He's like, yeah. Like, so I literally went up there and introduced myself. And he, the hospi- hospitality he had was incredible. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was with a couple of dudes. He, like, made sure we the had drinks. The hospitality he had was incredible. <laughs> you yeah. really selling this motherfucker. <laughs> no, I, I, no. I, 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 I've, I've never t- heard a person <laughs> describe that way. No, I will, yo, I will say that, too. No, his I hospitality was incredible. Fox and Numbers. Yo, because me and my girls, we didn't pay for a drink the whole night. Yeah. And so. Because y'all had all pretty, these dudes buying your drinks, right? <laughs> yo, I got fucked up. I got fucked up. Yeah, fucking red Good. flag right there. <laughs> yeah, right? We didn't pay for a single drink. <laughs> a no, I, no, I was ready. I had money. I had tip money. Like I was completely ready to buy expensive ass drinks in Santa Monica. Mm-hmm. And but, then we, but I we didn't, didn't have, have to. to. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Guess uh, what, Nudia? Somebody paid for that shit. Some hardworking motherfucker paid <laughs> for your drinks. You know what I'm saying? It didn't just just float across it the bar didn't pour by itself. into your hand. Like, hey, what, what is this? It did, though. They were just, no, my hand was empty, and then someone just put a drink in my oh, hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've heard nah. that story before, but it wasn't a drink that appeared in my hand. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so it was good. Yeah, uh, well, it's getting better. And you're yeah. approaching your third week. Approaching my third and week. And you guys are going to go heavy on the promotions. Yes. And we're going to check up on it. Yes. And you guys are going to have guest DJs? Yeah. We're, so, we're thinking of something in the And the you're going to sell it, right? Yes. So let's go sell it right now. We're, what's going on? What's going on? This is just coming right. out Wednesday. <laughs> what's going on tomorrow, Thursday? Hey, <laughs> you put me on the spot. But tomorrow, we're, we're back in the room, Santa Monica. We're playing. I don't know, man. I wouldn't. If he's... He I'm not the biggest salesman. Come on, sell it. Him. Energy. How do, energy. What do you energy. want me to say? Just, just energize, yo. Do like you, you know Jamie? What I'm 
<laughs> Come on. For you. Yeah. Well, I, well, I'm telling you, just, you know, Dance With Me's back in the room of Santa Monica. You know, we're playing. Honestly, I have so much fun playing that fucking there party. We go, there we go. Because I play like 80s, 90s. From A to Z, I play Mariah Carey. The girls love it. Oh yeah, it. Mariah Carey. I play all the fun shit, all the Ashanti that nice. they want to hear. Nice. So yeah, come out. Bossa Nova does his thing. Whoever comes in early, he so starts you play the all shots. the fun shit, and Bossa Nova does his thing. And then what else? Oh, we have a fucking good time. What do you Great. mean? What else? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, that's about it. Right. And it's literally the <laughs> okay, only, it's the only party in Santa Monica on a Thursday, right? On a Thursday, yeah. yeah. It's a little. I'm not. I'll tell you what are the hard things about that is that it is on the west side of town. So it's hard to get people. It's not like it's lock and key or anything in downtown area where it's easier to people to get there. It's pretty far out. Parking was great, though. Parking is easy Parking's to park great. and stuff like that. There's no cover. There's no There's no charge you at the door. You don't have to walk if you have heels on. It's, like, yeah. really that's, short. That's a, that's a selling point for women. Big, big selling point. Yeah, and apparently you get drinks just handed to you Amen. at the fucking party. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's mad fun. Uh, the first, yeah, the, I don't know. The first week, Bossa Nova did his thing. He brought a bunch of college girls out, and a lot of girls were just in there. And We heard that. We heard that, yeah. Honestly, no, let me get to the point. (laughs) Honestly, honestly, they were saying that they felt safe to just dance and then it feel like creeps was in there and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Such mm-hmm. a safe zone for all women. So never in D, stay away. Okay? Oh, stay sure. away, guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it, it's, it's honestly a, a learning experience and it's cool to learn. Right. And uh, appreciate you, Kirk, for putting me up on game. You have to appreciate like, no, oh you my God. He cries about not shit. getting his flowers and then when he no, gets on, he kills his flowers. No, because but you're going to work on the sales pitch. It's, it's, it's yeah. Because every week, Every fucking week, so, <laughs> I'm going to say, yo, what's going on with your party, Jamie? And I don't want this, well, uh, it's in the west side of town, and it's in Santa Monica. Well, I got to learn how to do salesman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, it's, it's mad cool. It's mad fun. And we Sell the shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Good shit. I, I hope think to everyone should go. Oh, 100%. <laughs> it was great. We all going to go at some what's point. What's the name of the spot? Uh, the Room Santa Monica. The Room Santa Monica. Monica. Yeah, I think yes. that's the first time I've heard the actual name of the location. The Room, the room Santa, Santa Monica. Monica. The Room, the room Santa, Santa Monica. Dance with me. It's make sure you go to the Santa Monica location because there's a Hollywood one, but we're in the Santa Monica one. Nice. Right, man. What's like, the, what's, okay, enough of that shit. How was y'all week? Everything was good? <laughs> was y'all good? Yeah. Shout out to the homies yeah. that came out to the party. <laughs> yes. Never, how you, I, feel like, I haven't seen Never okay. in a long time. I know. Never, how you been, it? brother? I've been good, good? I'm You're looking good. You too, man. You poloed up. Never is looking good. Thank you. Pause. You know? The fall look, man. What you? I know. I said it looks so nice. <laughs> Chilly outside, man. Never look healthy, man. Never look like nice. He's glowing. Skin is looking right. He's been drinking water. You Someone's know what I mean? pregnant. <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh. Never. Were you, you on your pool chill. this weekend? That was this weekend. What was that? That was this weekend. Your the the picture of you in the pool. Nah, that's an old picture. Oh, okay. I was saying, he's really <laughs> that's like, great marketing, by the way. Yeah, he was in the pool with the duckies. <laughs> that was, that like that the, was the, great uh, marketing. Summer finale pick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, never. You was mentioning. Mm-hmm. That you were actually getting noticed a lot, right? You're like a, a lot, superstar yeah. now in Vegas. I mean, not a superstar, <laughs> but like people been coming up to me. It's like, yo, you never from the Vote Podcast. That's right? dope. Yeah, man. Why yeah. you never got that before? I'm oh, get, no, I've been getting it a lot late. No, more than usual. Let's really? put it like that. Yeah. Is it from locals or out of towners? Out of towners. Nice, nice. That's it. Other yeah. DJs or regular people? You don't know. Half and half. Regular people out of. T- I mean, out of towners, DJs. It's like. Does that does that mean our demographic is growing? It's it's widening it up. I like that. <laughs> but but here's the thing. It's like it, I kind of get nervous because it's like they they see you like oh you never from the old podcast so when you DJing you can't fuck up <laughs> <laughs> you can't sound like shit the you gotta like is high. yeah exactly man you can't have people like oh man. That's that 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 whole podcast DJ sucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have that happen. So it's just like, but it's cool though. It's so like, are you like keeping an eye on them, and like like we're watching them? I try not to. Nah, I don't do nah. that. But still, man, it's just thinking like that. Yeah. I've had a couple of motherfuckers like come to my my gigs and shit, and say uh-huh. what's up. Yeah, I just feel compelled to like get them a drink or a shot. Yeah, or man, like exactly. That. Like shake their hand, be like, yo, yeah, what's up? Yeah. Thanks for listening and this and that. They're all they're always so friendly. Like, yeah, they're they're so they always like want to buy me a drink or mm-hmm. something. Yeah, I'm like, man. yo, don't spend your money. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, but do you That's do cool. any of you guys feel the pressure? When you when they say that oh I when they leave early podcast. I'm like oh, okay they uh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I suck. Like if I'm spending and they leaving early like, oh they well, have, if they don't tell you buy whatever it's just yeah, like, can, oh, man. can we get a picture with me and my wife yeah we can bounce though I'm like all right so <laughs> leaving <laughs> but I just I just I just been 45 minutes like nah we we gotta go yeah. and I'm just like the babysitter right, man fuck you then <laughs> <laughs> no 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 <laughs> 
Jesus. Oh, no, no, man. it's cool. It's I, I've been getting some of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like, uh, what? Do you get that shit a lot? Probably, right? I, I've gotten it a few times. Nothing <laughs> crazy, but I do feel the pressure. Like never, I'm like, damn. Okay, they here. Yeah, they want to see what I got in the tank. You know what I mean? They they don't. It's like yeah, we talk mad shit about DJs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you guys better be good. Yeah, man, I yeah. gotta like really be on tonight because they any little slip up, they're gonna be like, oh okay, this motherfucker. You know what I mean? He's talking <laughs> shit, but look at him. Yo, yeah. you you was just in New York, right? Right. When I tell you, I had an amazing time in New York. Yeah, because it was, was probably the first time that I've been in New York and experienced real New York nightlife. Mm. So. um I was there for the verses, the Triller verse fight, and then um, they also had Wyclef Jean and Supercat perform, mm-hmm. which was amazing, by the way. Um, Wyclef had brought out uh, Barrington Levy. He did yeah, some that songs. Was that was crazy. He brought out uh, Baby Sham, mm-hmm. and um, Busta Rhymes came on and did his thing real quick, and then he just kind of like dropped the mic and was like, find me a worthy versus opponent, and just left. Find me a worthy versus opponent. I see you So yeah, what was up like, with yeah. that when, like, Buster came on and dropped the mic, and then yeah. White Clef was like, "Really, Buster? Really? Yeah. Well, was was he joking? Was he was joking. joking? He was joking. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. it was like it was dope the way he did it because I thought he, I think White Clef thought Buster was gonna come on there and do like a little set. Yeah, yeah. And he just dead it. It was like, "Yo, find me a worthy versus opponent." And the crowd was like, "Oh shit!" Like, who? Everyone was saying Missy would be a good opponent for him. I, yeah, really? That'd be a good one. Yeah, yeah. I saw everyone say be. Double L, Cool J. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that one. Man. I want to know what never thinks. Nah, a little Cool J. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, too nah. much. Because when I think of Busta, I think of like features, party, party records. No, mm-hmm. I think of features. Yeah, I think of like the most. Every time he's on a feature, he bodies it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And when I think of Missy, like the early Missy, mm-hmm. she was doing the same thing. She was just on features. Like she didn't even have but an album killing, out, and mm-hmm. she had like f- like five hit records on features, right? Something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. So, that actually would be a good versus, I think. Because I was even in my head, I'm like, who could battle? Who could battle Busta? Mm-hmm. And to be successful because Busta had such a good run. He had his early stuff, and then he had his era with Dr. Dre. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Plus his features, plus like the uh, the early stuff with um, Leaders of the New School. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like he got, I got, I can't even think of it. He probably got at least thirty in the bag, right? But I'm thinking like if Missy does it, can she do like songs that she didn't sing on but she wrote? Yeah. Because that's crazy. Mm, I don't know about that, man. I mean, she, she got to perform. No, no, she could because. Didn't Jada she, Kiss just did that And his verses versus Fab But didn't she write One in a million Like all that Leah shit Yeah, yeah. Genuine shit yeah. Genuine mm-hmm. Dude that's crazy D'Angelo yeah. I don't yeah. know Yeah, yeah. I mean D'Angelo nah, Missy She didn't write for D'Angelo <laughs> I thought she wrote for D'Angelo <laughs> Just throwing D'Angelo <laughs> nah. I swear I read somewhere that she wrote I was like wait D'Angelo uh, <laughs> Yeah I don't remember that moment I know right <laughs> look it up. Maybe I'm, yeah. I, No D'Angelo like D'Angelo wrote, wrote his he, own shit He plays all his own instruments Yeah man He was just known as like and when he first came up, yeah. he was known as like almost like the like new the, prince. Yeah, I'd like to say that. Because he could do drums, organs, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. guitar. Yeah. And he wrote his own shit. Yeah, he wrote all his own shit. But definitely yeah. Genuine and Aaliyah yeah. was like, a lot of their catalog was written by Missy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, that's, that's that would be a dope versus though. It would, yeah. 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 I had a real embarrassing moment though. What's up? <laughs> what happened? What happened? So like Swiss Beats. They, he came in like during Wyclef's set, right? So I'm like in the front, just kind of filming stuff. Yeah. And then like later on, I see this dude, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's Steve Stout!" Like, "Yo, I gotta," you know what I mean? So I went up to him, I was like, "Mr. Stout, pleasure Mr. to meet Stout. you." Mr. <laughs> Stout. <laughs> 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 I mean, he, he, yo, he he's, he's an old yo, he's dude, like a like, nineteen, <laughs> he's like a nineteen fifties newspaper boy, right? <laughs> hey, Mr. <So>. Stout. <laughs> <laughs> <Mr. Stout. laughs> so he, like, he have like the what is that the, the nah he just had that the cap the um the newspaper the boy caps yeah uh-huh. I was just, just like ran up. I was like yo man like he he crossed paths with me right he crossed paths with me and I was like yo like pleasure to meet you and he didn't say nothing and then his boy was like hey man that ain't that ain't Steve Stout bro <laughs> that it was it was Joaquin Dean. The dude from uh, the Rough Riders, the CEO. How you oh. get them confused? They look alike, bro. They both have bald heads and like the goatee, like the salt and pepper goatee. I don't know. Steve Stout is very particular. So when you said Mr. Stout, <laughs> he just looked at me and like but kept Steve walking. Stout usually like wearing suits, and but he was he was in like a like a real classy sweatsuit nah, and like some Steve glasses. Stout wouldn't Steve be Stout like that. Exactly. It was, <laughs> and I just I don't know why I just assumed it was him. And so he was his boy was like, "Hey man, like that ain't." Do they look know. alike? I think so, man. No, in no, that moment. I don't know. So then, <laughs> no way. Now, now, now I need to see a picture. Google it. So then yeah. I like later I like saw him again, and I was like, "Fuck, man!" This dude. <laughs> we like crossed the paths. You, you like, know what you should have done? What? 
You should have been like, oh shit, Rough Riders. You should have just said what's up to him. As I'm leaving, like I got my like bag with me. I'm going out the back way to get to my, my ride. And yeah. I see him again. And I was like, fuck, man. And so I just kind of like gave him a nod. And he kind of chuckled. And he like patted me on the back, but like really hard. Like, yeah. like get out the way, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was so embarrassed, man. I felt bad. Wait, so you've like, been you've been working with Trilla. You've been doing the Fight yeah, Club shit, right? Yeah. What is that? That they mix MMA. And they mix they mix boxing, sanctioned boxing, and then usually um, after the boxing, they turn it into a concert. Okay. So um, I really didn't have any idea that they were doing this Wyclef and Supercat thing into the day of, and literally it was packed out. They sold out Barclays. That's insane. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Was it? It's like was it? It was all. It's a, all of Brooklyn was there. So like all Mad Jamaicans, yeah. Mad West crazy Indians, crazy West Indians up there. Yeah. I mean, it was it was amazing. I ain't gonna lie, like. It was probably like it was probably one of the illest like concerts I've seen in the Dude, minute. I don't think I've ever seen Supercat live. He did like, his thing. I've never seen him. I've never seen him live either. But like even like Barrington Levy was amazing. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his voice, like his voice hasn't really aged. I don't know how old he is, but he sounded amazing live, man. And ba- uh, Baby Sham as well. He did all his hits. He did the joint with Alicia Keys, like Ghetto Story. Mm-hmm. Like all his like B side stuff. It was it was dope, man. And then I had a chance to go do the uh, the nightlife scene. Shout out to Marty Rock. Yeah, this dude, this dude texts me, right? He's like, yo, I'm in New York. Like, I don't know where, you're like, I kind of want to go out and shit, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You want, you know, Daddy D wants to do his thing. Daddy <laughs> D. Yeah. He was out here. You know? So I hit up, I hit up Marty Play, uh, LB1, and mm-hmm. Marty Rock. And mm-hmm. then you connected with Marty Rock. Yeah. Marty Rock, Mr. Mang Rod, Marty Rock. <laughs> yeah. He's a fucking. Yo, he's a time, man. Yeah. Yo, we, we partied both nights. I think Friday night we was out till like four or five. Saturday night, we was probably out to like 7 in the he morning. He didn't snuff nobody? No? Nah. That nah. Motherfucker he just told be, me the story, though. Yeah, he be snuffing motherfuckers <laughs> in the club. I'm like, yo, why are you snuffing motherfuckers in the club, yo? <laughs> nah, man. He showed, he showed so much love, man. Like, yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. Like, I got to his spot. He was DJing at uh, Catch Roof. Yeah, yeah. And um, he was like, yo, just walk in with me. It's cool. And I was like, look, man, I got six friends, like six homegirls from San Diego. Is that cool? Yeah. He was like, yeah, it's all good. Just walk in with me. I wasn't expecting anything just to probably buy some drinks at the bar. Yeah. He full on like got us a table oh, and dope. had a couple of bottles, man. I was like, bro, like I was not expecting this. Like, thank you so much, man. Like, Yeah, they don't do that in New York. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I was yeah, not I'm expecting that. that. <laughs> a table. He brought six girls with him. Especially not yeah. for D. <laughs> not for D. <laughs> But no, nah, he had we had an amazing time, man, and I connected with him the next day as well. Um, shout out to him, man. He's he's a dope DJ. I listened to his set. His voice is crazy. Was yeah. he on the mic? Mic game was crazy. Mic game was nasty. Yeah, yeah. And I even told him at the end, I was like, bro, like I literally shit Sam like five five records that I didn't even know yeah, that yeah. you played. That was just dope records. And he's like, nah, man, like whatever you need. You know what I mean? His his hospitality too, man. But he's just a good dude, man. Hella friendly. Like we kicked it at the bar and talked after and just talked about DJ shit. Yeah, yeah. I was it's like, good, man, he said he'd never been to Vegas before. Now you need to come. I told all those motherfuckers in New York they need to come to Vegas. He said he's never <laughs> been, man. I was like, bro, I think you could do well. Like, just come experience it. Just don't it. snuff nobody in the yeah. clubs out there. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. And he told me he got the, tri- he got the uh, quick trigger finger, man. He liked to knock motherfuckers down real quick. He, he told <laughs> me the story. <laughs> snuff City. <laughs> Where's where he from? That's Where's why he from? He's, he's Brooklyn? Like, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, the Bronx, man. The Bronx. Bronx. No, no, yeah. he's from Yonkers, I think. Uh, no, I think he said the Bronx. I think he's from the Bronx. From the Bronx? Yeah. I, f- I forgot, man. Yeah. I think he's from the Bronx. He's Dominican cat, right? Yeah, Dominican. He's Dominican. Oh, no. Yeah. He's a yeah. good dude, man. He's super cool, man. I, I call him Mong. Mong? Yeah, because whenever <laughs> he tells a story about him snuffing somebody, yeah. mm-hmm. he's like, yo, I hit him like, Mong. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, I haven't heard that Mong term in like 15, 20 years, yo. Yeah. I hit that motherfucker like, Mong. Yo, can I shout out June? Because I went to go see her at her spot also. Oh, DJ June? Yes. I went Dude. to go see her. She was playing at the Moxie Hotel. Mm. And then I think the, the spot was called Floor. And it was like a rooftop um, with a great view of the city. But it was heavy Latin. She literally played Latin the entire time I was there. She's such a great like DJ. Like a two and a half mm-hmm. Latin set. Damn. And it was amazing. I was blown away, like, all the shit she was pulling out. She's a great DJ. Yeah. She's dope. Yeah. I haven't right. heard her in a minute. I think I heard her in, in, a, in a spot in LES, like, maybe two years Yo, ago. her Latin set. Mm-hmm. I, was, I, was, I showed Jamie the text. I was inspired. Yeah. Like I was like, damn, like I need to step my Latin game up because her shit was crazy. Well, you know, I mean, bro. you know she worked at a record store. She worked at, at Beach, Beach Street. Street. I didn't yeah. know that. So she had all that music, bro. Yeah. Like she she knew all that music. Like all the sing along stuff the yeah. girls was loving. Like she was on, bro, for straight two and a half hours. Like I was truly amazed. Like you know, her set was fire. There's not many DJs that I like that I hear and when I hear it, motherfuckers like I like I hit up Sujin. I'm like, yo, you need to sign this motherfucker. Yeah. You're like, D, you, you're definitely one of them. Mm-hmm. Like, mad motherfuckers co-signed you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nev, of course, right? Yeah. 
And then it was like June. And it's like mad other DJs that I would just hear like Sujin be like, yo, you need to sign her. And it yeah. was like, he was like, June? I never heard. I'm like, yo, fam, trust me. <laughs> yeah. And she, I remember I heard her for the first time in Atlantic City. And I was like, why the fuck is she opening for me? Yeah. You know, like she need to fucking. Yeah, she nasty, she's nasty on the turntables, bro. man. I saw her at the scam, at Sujin's birthday party, the, mm-hmm. the scam summit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And that shit was, uh, it was ill, man. Like, I haven't seen her in a minute, man. Yeah. But, yo, she's she's one of the best DJs yeah, she's, out there, she's bro. she's dope, man. Like, yeah. I'm glad she's busy. Because I even told her the same. I was like, man, I haven't seen you in forever. Like, it's been a minute. Yeah. But she looks like she's doing well, and she's staying busy. It's good. She, she was hanging out with us at Sujit's 2019 birthday at Highland Road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the last that's time the, I Honestly, that's, that's the last time I've seen her. Two years ago. Yep. She's fucking, I'm, that's yeah. great, man. Yeah. So you had a fun Super time sweet. in New York. I did, man. I How, go, how's the music different? Uh, heavy Latin. Um, honestly, I was expecting more shit that we don't play, yeah. but it was kind of similar. Maybe it was just the spots I was going. But for uh, Marty Marty Rock spot, he was playing a lot more like East Coast shit, like mm-hmm. like more uh, a boogie, yeah, yeah, like a lot of reggae dope shit. Mm-hmm. Um, June was playing like Dembo shit I hadn't heard. Mm-hmm. Um, What's big in New York right now? Music wise, like Gallus is big. Gallus mm-hmm. was huge. There's a French Montana song that that is kind of hitting. Is it the fuck with me? Get a bag joint. It's a sample, right? It's a sample from Peter Guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I that's heard big. that. I love that song. It, I heard it's, that it's not popping, popping, mm-hmm. but it's like but you it's, play it. it's a decent filler. But you know yeah. what? With mm-hmm. it's like that Fat Joe. What was that Fat Joe strip <laughs> yes. song? Yes. 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 Yeah, was it yes? Yeah. The one with Quaddy B. Oh, with yeah. Manuel? Face down ass up. Yeah. 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 That was our answer like, you Miami. don't need to play it, but, but you, you can play, play it. and get like, away with it. But you know what? I'll yeah. be honest. Like, fuck it, we're in the East Coast. <laughs> we're in New York. <laughs> fuck it, yeah. play it. Gialis, it just hit different in New York. Yeah. Like, the, res- the response what? it got in New York, I was like, oh. What okay. version do you guys play? The Chris Brown one or the, um, nah. the, the original? The OG. The OG? Well, no, but yeah. I heard the remix is bubbling. Though. Yeah, it's, it is. Well, when I heard Marty Rock, he played the remix. He played the remix. I yes. heard that in LA. The remix, I heard in LA. Really. Yeah. But yeah, it just hit different out there. And I was like, damn, mm-hmm. man. Like, that shit was dope. And then, like, the level of, like, uh, like how people come together with shit in the club in New York, it was just different. Like everyone's dancing. Like mm-hmm. it, it's just, it was just different energy, man. It's a different I hadn't really vibe. seen that energy before, and it was dope. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you, you got to go to an everyday people party. Yeah. Or you got to see Mo or uh, Moma Spin mm-hmm. or Eli Escobar. Yeah. But really, right now, like the DJs in New York, like I've been going there back and forth. Like there is a good energy with the DJs in New York. Yeah. Because the motherfuckers who are working right now are the dudes who put in the work. Who mm-hmm. were like the openers and shit, yeah. and now they're finally getting headliner slots. Yeah. I was about to say, I feel like it's a whole new bunch of new DJs spinning in New yeah. York right now. But it, it's cool. good. It's like a good energy because it's like it's been a, it's been a long time when I would go to New York and I would hang with like six to eight DJs together. But because everyone came up together mm-hmm. and they were like in the trenches together, like there's a good understanding of everyone. Like every, there's a mutual respect and everyone like actually like hangs like like cool fucks with each, with each other, other. Yeah, yeah because yeah. they know they put in their work mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so the motherfuckers that are in New York who are working are like you know they yeah. put in their work it's a yeah. lot of openers who are like finally getting headliner shit and they're doing yeah. you know they're getting their due That's now dope. Yeah. and listening to Marty Rock like I could tell like he was seasoned yeah you know what I'm saying like he wasn't new like nah. he just knew the, he knew what pockets to hit he knew what to say on the mic like his level of comfort in that room was crazy man he was just bodying that it's shit dope. a lot yeah. of those DJs are ill man yeah Marty, a lot of respect Marty Play, uh, LB1. Mm-hmm. Those, a lot of those dudes put in work, man. Yeah, man. So all, all, they were all. A lot of them were bred from the one, one Oak. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they heard all the DJs yeah. at One Oak. They heard everyone. All right. So you caught the verses on Saturday with Wyclef, right? Yeah. But you didn't catch the big one with KRS nah, versus Big I was, Daddy King. I was flying back here, so I caught like the tail end of it. Mm. Yeah, I was sick. I was like, "Fuck, man!" Like, a part of me wanted to stay, but yeah. then I didn't want to be tired. You know us, us recording and everything So I'm like Let me just get back And get some rest and, But I caught the majority of it I caught the tail end of it This is a, this is like the first verses That's like some Old school Like legend shit Right Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. With Karis One And Big Daddy Kane Yeah How, How'd you feel about the you, you watched the whole thing right It was good man It was like I mean this is my era This is the hip hop I grew up on So mm-hmm. it was dope to see Both of them performing Yeah But honestly I felt like Karis One is no match For Big Daddy Kane it really? should it should have been Rakim versus Big Daddy King. I was gonna say that. Yeah, that's more of an even matchup. They have like a similar deli- similar delivery. Exactly. Too. Yeah. So yeah. you saying it's no match that? I mean, like Karis One got hits for days. Yeah. 
You made it seem like KRS One can't fuck with Kane right now. He's like no match for Kane. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The nah, way you nah, worded nah. it. <laughs> okay, nah. But I'm saying, yeah, yeah. KRS One is like, he, like there's like a he could have did another hour of music. KRS, KRS One, yeah. And, was, and Kane was starting to run out of hits. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. they was going at it. <laughs> I mean, they were doing some desperate ass shit in that. Yeah, where, man. Like scratch. <laughs> I, I was wondering what was going on with Scratch, yo. Like, so Scratch was DJing for Kane, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and. K Capri was DJing for KRS-One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was weird because you would think Mr. C would be Kane's DJ. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Mr. Mr. C, C was kind of bitter. He posted it on Instagram that he wasn't asked to DJ. Yeah, but is Mr. C is Big Daddy Kane's Big Daddy original, Kane's original DJ. DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's also, I mean, he discovered Biggie Smalls. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like, you know, we've had Big Ben on here. Big Ben. Oh, he, he, he's a monster. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. C is a monster. Yeah, man. And then D Nice is originally. Well, I feel like with D Nice, I feel like he would have overshadowed the whole competition. I don't know. Everybody would have been focused on I D Nice. Was, I, don't I don't think, think so. so. I was I expecting so. D Nice, D -Nice is from uh, no, Boogie, Boogie Down Productions. Production, yeah. Karis wants DJ. Why wasn't the OGs there? But I That's feel like, weird. like I said, I feel like I would have been like, oh, D Nice, D Nice. No, no, no. 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 Yeah. I feel like bit, he would have done his. I would feel like he would have played. I would have been a good addition to it, but I don't think it would have overshined the situation. I honestly thought D Nice was going to be there to DJ. I think that would have been. Oh, you Yo. think D Nice asked for too much money? <laughs> no, I think he, I think he would have done it for free. No, I don't know, man. For KRS, it is D Nice though now. Bro. Yeah, man. You talking about yeah, but it's KRS. Dude, KRS, you crazy? He would have just know, done man. that, man. I don't yeah. know, man. I don't know, Kirk. The bag is crazy. <laughs> that's not. I don't think that's it. Man. I think I, maybe I'm with Crooked. Maybe, maybe he should have right. been there. Also, he wasn't even there in the audience. I you heard would he think, was there. You would think. You would think he. Oh, he was. I heard he was there. I'm about to say you would think he would get on stage at least do a song together. I don't know, man. But you you really think you really, <laughs> there's like industry but that, shit? But, uh, I swear to God, that Mr. C and Kane shit. That's some industry shit. No, it is. Both, it yeah, is. it's both industry shit. That's but but Kicker Pete used to rock with um, Karis One back in the day. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I could see that. I could see that him being a DJ for, for sure, that for event. Sure. Yeah, yeah. If Kicker Pete could do it, D Nice should be is, should be able to do it. I know D Nice is in another stratosphere right now, but you know what I'm saying. He I might, think he I might think, be too big time. Yeah. I don't know about that. I, the Mr. C is weird though. It's like certain yeah. people you could big time. I, I can't I can't picture D Nice big time in KRS. I was just I was confused. It just seemed like Scratch was doing all these audibles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Throughout the performance, right? Yeah, and then the the whole thing about him wanting to battle Kid Capri, I was just like, "Why are you doing this right now?" Yeah. Like, hey, yo, KRS. Since we doing all this hip hop shit, right? We did the MCs. Y'all did the freestyle battle. You had the b boy dances. So we got to do the main element. The first element of hip hop is the DJ shit. What you think? Now, this is called versus. Yeah. You got to come with the hits. Fuck that cutting shit. <laughs> I'm here to battle Kane, not you. <laughs> you here to work for Kane, not Capri. <laughs> Let's get in our place. Yo, Capri, throw the real shit Be on. Be scared. Throw that shit on. Fuck that. Y'all running out of records. <laughs> fuck that. All that freestyle. Fuck that. Let's get these hits. Let's get these hits. Kevin Swan had to put him in his place. Oh, wait, what'd he say? He was like, yo, this is the Kane versus Karis One. This ain't no DJ battle shit. <laughs> no, he, the way he come to see you. <laughs> well, he was just, oh, fuck. He's like, enough with that cutting shit. He yeah. was like, this. Yeah. This is all about this is about hits. And he's like, oh, this is about shit. hits. It's not about cutting and all that like DJ shit. Yeah. But, but, but scratches out of nowhere. Yo, let's do this. This is me and you, kick a pre. Let's go one on one. Yeah. I know you're gonna do Kid Capri in the building, y'all. I got something for that. That was nothing. Nah, nah, I could nah, do that. Nah, 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 We, we good, we good. You sure? Yeah, 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 nah. KRS still got some work to get in, man. Come on, man, that's enough, that's enough. Yo. I feel like this was his, because remember last year, Scratch and Kid Capri had that little got beef? Got into it, yeah. yeah. They had that about little the, beef. About the Cash App. Remember the Cash oh, App? Oh yeah, the yeah. Cash App. All right, so wait, wait. There's a little backstory, right? I forgot about that. You forgot? I, I forgot didn't forget about that. I didn't forget about that. Damn. I remember that shit. <laughs> I remember that shit. So Scratch was on IG Live, right? This is when everyone started hopping on IG Live. Yes. And D Nice was blowing up on IG Live when the pandemic started. Yeah. And I think Scratch was maybe one of the first DJs. No, no, no. D Nice had his Cash App up too, right? I'm not sure. Did he? 
I think he did. I think a I bunch of remember. DJs. Anyway, all Rich of these DJs had ABCS. their Venmo and their Cash App up. Yeah. Yes. And the Kid Capri went up and he was just like, yo, man, like, motherfuckers ain't working right now. It's like, yo, it's fucked up for you to have your Cash App and Venmo yeah. out. Like, honestly, like, we're doing this for the culture. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing it for the culture and you're an established DJ, you know what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't have your you Cash App doing that shit. And yeah. the Scratch took that shit personal and went at Kid Capri and they kind of went at each other. Yeah. yeah. But then there was talks about... They were talking shit like, I think at some point Kid Capri was like, yo, I'm, motherfuckers were like, yo, Kid Capri's the greatest DJ of all time kind of shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like Scratch was holding on to that. Yeah. <laughs> for, like a, for like a year. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like a year and a half. And this was his time to kind of like Shine. settle that shit. We'll just be like, you know Let what? Let's settle, yeah. Let, let's, get, let's, let's take care of this shit right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I also, yo, I, I kind of feel bad for Scratch sometimes. Why is that? Because I feel like he was one of the first DJs streaming live. Uh huh. Like he was. He like, was. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the first DJs. He streaming had that live. scratch vision. Yeah. App. And then he kind of had to see like D Nice blow up, mm-hmm. Clark Kent, and like kick like all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. I feel like he's one of those OGs that like. I get know, first. He don't get his credit. Well, he just get... started getting his credit. With the verses, right? Mm-hmm. Because he was killing it, right? Mm-hmm. Which is what, what he deserves, and like, I feel like he was just like, now's the time for me to like let everybody know, set the record straight on who's the, the best, best DJ. DJ. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was a little. There was a, all I say is there was a lot of ego in that in oh, that arena, yeah, room. Yeah. Yeah. Even Karis won, man. He was like, <laughs> he was going at Kane. You know, yeah. Kane is a class act, man. I know. Yeah, I was actually yeah. really, uh, I was fucking with Kane's energy, man. Mm-hmm. Like he was really on some like. He was cool. Da- smooth dapper. Yeah. Like, all right, you keep talking that rah-rah shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, I- I'm good. I smashed Madonna and Naomi exactly. Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> Same damn time. You know, Karis. <laughs> yeah. I got my, my, my fedora on. Yeah, he was rocking that fedora for real, too. Yeah. He probably had the clean. dapper dance suit on. Man, he was With fly. those Versace, the red Versace sneakers? Yeah, yeah. He was clean, man. <laughs> K.R.S. looked like he just came from a, a construction job. Yeah. He looked like he was just walking the, <laughs> he was walking the streets. He found a mic. He's like, yo. <laughs> yo, K.R.S. one looked like he finished that Red Lobster and was like, yo, fuck it. I'll, I'll go, I'll go to Barclays. To Barclays. <laughs> on my way home, I'll stop by Barclays. Oh, man. It's like, ask his manager, can I finish my shift early? I got a battle at Barclays. Plays, yo. He almost walked out with the apron on. I was like, oh, oh wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but that's what I love about KRS, yo. Yeah. I love that he's just like, it's he's just all, all about the music. Yo, and that's what I notice about these rappers too. Like, when the rappers or MCs, when they don't give a fuck about how they look mm-hmm. and they're all about the skills, mm-hmm. they always outshine the they're other rapper yeah. who's, who cares about how he looks a little bit, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like Jada Kiss and. and and Dip Rocks. said, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Karis when just came off, like, he just took the train there. Yeah. Like, he don't he give a fuck. Probably did. Yeah. yeah. He jumped the turnstile. You can tell he, like, one of them dudes that don't ever need security. Yeah. He don't need nothing, bro. He, he just walking the streets, getting love from everybody. Ain't nobody messing with Karis in the streets. I just saw the J. Cole show here in Vegas. Uh-huh. Shout mm-hmm. to Night Train. Like, mm-hmm. I actually just landed in Vegas, and Night Train was like, yo, like, yo, come, come, come to MGM. I'm like, why? And he's like, Cole's performing. I'm like, fuck. Like, just, wait, like, when was this? Last, yeah, last night or no, yesterday? Saturday, yes, no, Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night. No Saturday way. night. Yeah. Wow. He hit me. I like out of nowhere, and uh-huh. I was like, damn, everyone's working out of town. Yeah. So I just roll with him and shit. But yo, like Cole, mm-hmm. like Cole is just that's another one. Yeah, he, he just, just don't give a fuck. <laughs> rock a t shirt, shorts. Like, shorts. He always rocks cut off sweats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some his Pumas. But like you know, Cole, like Cole, like he'll take the train. He'll take. He still take the bus. He rides his bicycle. Yeah. Oh well, well, no. Um, at the uh, last year for Day in Vegas, they had. Oh my gosh, I have like the worst celeb story with J Cole. That's like the the one celeb that just like went horribly wrong. But so after Day in Vegas, like we got they had a press party in Hakkasan Ling Ling Room for Dreamville. So I'm like, okay, it's gonna it's just gonna be a regular Ling Ling Room, and there's probably gonna be like a Dreamville table. You have to stop by and say hi to like in and I was like, there's no fucking way like Boz is going to be there. There's no fucking way J. Cole's going to be there. Right. So after day in Vegas, I roll up with like dudes, like five dudes. I'm like, they're not going to let me in. They're like, sure. Come on in. There was like a hundred people in this room. There was no like it was literally like so exclusive. And there was like five girls. It was like nothing but dudes in this room. And so you go over to the bar and there's like Dreamville cups and I'm standing there and I'm like fucked up from day in Vegas. Right. And 
I like turned to my friend and I'm like, yo, is this J. Cole standing right next to me? He's like, yeah. Hoodie, just fucking at the bar by himself. Like, no one's even around him. No one's talking to him. And my friend's like, yo, you, you have to say hi. I'm like, there's no fucking way. Like, I'm so <laughs> fucked up right now. There's no way. So he pushes me, right? And I just remember, like, saying hi. And then I black, I, like, don't fucking remember what I said. And, like, when I come to, I'm like, oh, yeah. So, like, how was your performance? Because he performed at Dan Vegas. And he's like, ah, it was all right, you know? Like, he's like, it wasn't that good. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, and it was really cold. You were so, like, okay, it wasn't that good. Cool. <laughs> 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 Don't like your hips. And I was like, oh, I was like, were, were you cold? And like, because I heard it was like real cold outside. And like, he just like looked at me and then we just started laughing. And I like walked away. And I'm like, this is like the worst. Yes, about the worst. <laughs> it was like the worst celebrity story I like ever have. But like, it was so cool. Like, they were there. I, I think Nitrain was DJing. No, did yeah. Moma DJ that yeah. part? Yeah. Oh, you did? Moma and yeah. Yeah. Vegas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a delay. I don't remember yeah. this. No, yeah. You were gone. You were I gone. I had to pick yeah, him up. Yeah, actually, Moma did. Cause I was you still... picked Moma up from the airport? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Why? Because did you he... told me to. I told you to pick him up? Really? <laughs> yeah. I was like, you were I'll... gone. No, because I thought Moma was like, yo, pick me up from the airport. And you're like, okay. No, that's, that's <laughs> I mean, you would have asked me. I would have picked him up, too. We had we we, we ate at blind uh, blind pig downstairs. Oh okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. all right, but yeah That's it was <laughs> you were so comfortable. No, 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 like, you're not the only one who's uncomfortable around like uh, celebrities and shit. Well like no usually it goes really well. Oh, really? I was just like extremely fucked up and and I also didn't think he was gonna be there. I was like there's no fucking way J Cole's gonna be at the, at the Ling Cole Ling party? room. <laughs> it it was a dreamville, but like every like everyone was there and but like, I guess my point was. Was that the yeah, whole what was the point? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you never Because I was wondering. No, yeah. here, was, here was my point, was that he was just standing there at the bar by himself the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And, like, no one even really no was security, bugging no nothing, him. Yeah. And that's why I was like, is that, was, like, is that really him? But, like, hoodie, chilling. And then, like, I walk away, and the, the person after me is like, yo, like, your song saved my life. I was like, oh, cool, cool. Like, I, I just asked him if he was cold, you know? And I don't <laughs> yeah. even remember half the fucking conversation. Yo, his yeah. fan base is crazy. Oh, like, of course, man. They're the yeah. most loyal motherfuckers yeah. ever. Yeah. Like, he is... But he reminds me, he has that KRS-One energy to me. Mm-hmm. Because he, he would just get on stage and rock, yo. Mm-hmm. And he's just like... Honestly, I saw him at MGM, uh, the Garden Arena. I was just like, yo, he fucking... It was all packed. It was sold out. I was like, yo, this is... It was insane, yo. Yes, sir! Keep your fingers in the sky! If you want it, nigga, look straight up to the ceiling and sing this shit. Hey, first things first, that's a precept. You the only father that I ever knew. I give my piss credit, I'm going to be a better you. Prophecies that I made way back in the field. For fear, listen even back when we was robots in here. Martin Luther King would have been on Dreamville. Talk to him, nigga. One time for my LA system. One time for. Dang, niggas can't tell the difference. One time for a nigga who say, don't say what. Don't say what. Yeah. It was just great. Even 21 Savage. I thought uh, yeah. he would be like I thought he would be pretty bad. Like yeah. Miko's bad? Yeah, he was good. How many times did you ride? A lot. How many niggas have died? A lot. How many times did you cheat? A lot. How many times did you lie? A lot. How many times did she leave? A lot. How many times did she cry? A lot. How many chances she the guy you fuck around with it? But I heard he's been getting better. Like some of the videos I saw before were kind of rough. Oh I mean, yeah. He's yeah. kinda <laughs> new, but he was new at the time. But yeah, yeah. But it nah, did I mean, look like they did a good job on your story. Yeah, yeah, they did a. Yeah. Ma- it was fucking. It was. Yeah. A, it was a great show, man. It was. It was a really a great show. You are going back, yeah. huh? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. I think I'm. I'm gonna check out the L.A. one and shit. Oh yeah. 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 Oh. Um. But well, yeah, I mean, it's gonna I mean, be a groupie. Yeah. Well, when, when's the uh, When's the L.A. show? Well, the Thursday. thing is, I didn't. I, I showed up late because Nitrine didn't let me know. Well, because my flight landed late anyway. But yeah, you uh, landed at night. I wanted to see Boss. Yeah. So I wanted to see Boss perform the Jackie, and I wanted to do it. I saw yeah. Boss for a little bit. And yo, like, it was just dope to see Boss, like, and Eve, and all those. Were you like standing next to him, or like? Yeah, like they're like, chilling with. But them? that's what I'm saying. Like, they brought me like Night Train's, like, yo, Cole, come and meet Cole. I'm like, nah, I don't want to. But bother. how many times have you met Cole though? But man? I don't want to bother these motherfuckers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I met Cole once. I remember I took oh. I took these motherfuckers to Rhino. 
I was with you. Yeah, you was with me. Yeah. And I was taking care of the table. I was like talking with Zachariah. I was like taking care of tables. And then Cole just comes up and puts his hand on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. And he was like, what's good, man? <laughs> and I shook his hand. I didn't know what to say. Yeah. And I was like, I'll be right back. And I just <laughs> you never I came back. I just never came you back. Like, like, how about it? How about it? How about it? How about it? Yeah, and the whole, time, and the whole time afterwards, I'm like, damn, you should have been like, it's good to have you back in Vegas. Yeah. Or say something. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not good in those situations. Every time I meet like uh, new or the, like celebrity motherfuckers or like rappers or whatever, I think I mean, my energy is like, uh, I don't give a shit about them. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah. like I'm just I mean, kind of shy. Like I don't want. I, we're from New York, so yeah. I like I don't I don't want to like sweat them. Too I don't want to sweat yeah. them too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know who's really good at meeting celebrities? This guy. He's oh, yeah. really good because <laughs> he knows he he has this LA shit down. Like where he meets them and he immediately gives them a compliment. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So like once you give a celebrity or a rapper a compliment. You kind of like draw them in because they're like, oh, okay, like, yeah, thank you, you know? And then he just knows how to fucking. It's because I, I kind of grew just, up around there. But I think yeah, Cole's he's the, so LA in Hollywood. Like, he just. No, knows. I grew up around there because of Puff and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. he just, just knows how to. You know how to talk around yeah, this Yeah, I know how to yeah. move. But I feel like J. Cole would be like, yeah, hey, what's up? Because yeah. I've met J. Cole a couple of times. Yeah. And I always got to be like, hey, what's up, man? We met before, da da this, da da that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 what's up, what's up? And I just keep it going. That's right? one conversation <laughs> I want to have. I would I would do anything to talk to J. Cole for like 10 minutes. Because I'm such a big fan. Yeah, yeah. But I never. I met him once. That's all I remember. And it was through D. But yeah. hopefully one day I get to talk to Cole. Nah, you will. And it was funny because I saw, I was on Instagram and I saw him perform at light or daylight. Daylight. And then <laughs> there's like never standing behind Cole while he's performing. And then was just like out of it. Like he's like, I'm over this shit. <laughs> he was just tired. Yeah, because yeah, it was like, it was late already. And it was about, it was like 5 30, 6 o'clock. I'm like, fuck, man. I might have had to DJ that night also. That's yeah. why I'm just like, fuck, man. That was, that was becoming like the grumpy, I am, grumpy man. DJ, man. I, I, I am, man. Yeah. I hate that too, man. Just groaning all the time. <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta work tonight? Damn. But didn't you, Kirk, you do have bad experience with rappers and shit. Didn't you just have one in San Diego recently? <laughs> what a segue. <laughs> that was good. That was good, good Jamie. Well, yes, Jamie. I, matter of fact, I did. Yeah. I did well, you've been killing it in San Diego. On your runs, you just did now a that festival. You <laughs> How did Dude, you mention tell it? I did have a run in with another rapper. <laughs> You're horrible. What happened, man? Thanks for passing the mic, the torch, <laughs> Cassidy Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy. Wow, you passed that mic like Cassidy. <laughs> nah, you wow. Now, was whenever funny. I hear the term pass the mic, I think of Cassidy. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> We're going to rock this to the top and the bottom. <laughs> Cassidy. <laughs> Pass the mic. <laughs> what up, Shaka Khan? Jody <laughs> Watley. What's up, Jody? <laughs> What's up, Jody? You chilling? <laughs> I'm good. Are you ready? Are you ready? Pass the mic. <laughs> <laughs> He's killing it on BT, yeah. right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Does he have like a weekly show yet? No, nah. no. Nah, I think he ran out of artists to do past the mic. Dude, you know what? You know what Cassie would be great as? What? He would be like dope as the DJ for like a talk show. Yeah. Like he's like oh the, Ellen. Like he, Ellen. He would yeah. kill him. Or like yeah, like a or anybody like any new talk show. Mm-hmm. He's just like he has that like Paul Schaefer energy, right? Where it's like. Hey, what's up? Like the energy, <laughs> get the crowd, yeah, hyped get up. the crowd hype. Yeah, he, he should, I could see him doing that. And his, the way he dresses, he's like, like a be host. Perfect. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's becoming like a personality, right? When you see he'll him, he'll be perfect for like daytime TV. Yeah, I wonder if like, if if like the people who know him from from like the past, the mic, do they do they know of his history as a DJ? Probably not. Yeah, I believe yeah. so, man. I don't think so. I, I think, think so. so. Outside no. of New York, you think motherfuckers? Oh, okay, that's different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the world, like the, the, the country. No, though. I thought you were talking about the performers that's that been doing. No, past no, the I mic. think the performers definitely. Know they all. That's what I'm saying. They, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows but I'm saying like all these motherfuckers who watch him on BET. Oh yeah, probably I'm, not. I'm kind of thinking like, how did this motherfucker land this? They're job, thinking man. like, how did he? Yeah. 
like like end up doing all of this shit. Yeah. They don't know the history of, of Cassidy yeah. and all of that shit. No, for sure. I think it's a generation that don't know like who he's DJed for. Right, right. His his it's like resident. the same thing with you know, D Nice. Legendary know birthday parties. Yeah. Oh, remember his legendary yeah, Cassidy's man. birthday, birthday yeah, party? Yeah, shit, man. You and Sean Perry used to like try to sneak in them shit. We used to go there, yeah. yeah. I don't know, Sean had to connect. <laughs> <laughs> Shout See, Bella Biv DeVoe, Bobby Brown, like, yeah, he, oh, keep sweat. <laughs> was he the only one doing birthday parties like that besides Diddy? Yeah. Because yeah. all his other performances is like old school artists. Right. He was kind of the first to bring the old school artists yeah. back for his birthday parties, mm-hmm. right? Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Damn. Bella Biv be like, yo, Bella Biv DeVoe, where, where you get them from? <laughs> <laughs> well, he had like all of New Edition at one point, though. No? Probably, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's that's insane. Anyway, so back yeah. to you, Kirk. <laughs> tell the story. So tell us how you got to, to an situation. altercation. Uh, was it even an altercation though? I don't even know if that was. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> I said. I Before, was just, but tell us how you got there because it's just. It's I saw a, I was DJing in San Diego. Yeah. Okay. And I, I'm not gonna name the spot. No. Just in case. But anyway, I was DJing the shit, and it was just like a lot of shit was going on. It was like hectic. There was like bottle presentations. Um, there was shout outs There was song requests mm-hmm. And at some point Someone spilled a drink On an actual CDJ Ooh. And then The sound guy Was switching out the CDJ And so like The left one was like So then There's all this commotion By the DJ booth mm-hmm. And I'm like Yo what the fuck And then security comes up to me is like Yo do you know this dude and It was like a Some black dude And I was like I don't, I don't know him I was like nah mm-hmm. But I was annoyed right because yeah. of what was going on, I was like, I don't know who the fuck that is, right? Yeah. And <laughs> and then and then the the next morning, right? I get this message. I get a voice message off of what Instagram, DMs. Instagram, DMs. Instagram DMs. Yeah. So. Yo, my G. If I ever pull up on you in San Diego again, please don't disrespect me like that in front of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm- so. So wait, wait. <laughs> First, you're like, what the fuck? born and raised here man i didn't i didn't come up trying to disrespect you or nothing you know what i'm saying but i was in the city last night and i pulled up you know what i'm saying i saw you was djing so i tried to come introduce myself as is only right you know what i'm saying as the artist in the building you know what i'm saying just giving respect as a dj and you had a disrespect and just fronted on me um you know what i'm saying i was trying to introduce myself to the lady that was with you, you know what I'm saying, explain who I was because I know you was on the tables and you just completely dissed me, bro. <laughs> and um, I don't really appreciate that. I know we haven't met before, you know what I mean? But like I said, I'm born and raised San Diego, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't appreciate that in my hometown. And I hope next time you are here. <laughs> oh, there's a part So, yeah, two. next time when you're in San Diego, man, I hope it's uh, better. A better introduction if I can happen to pop up in the spot or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so that ended up being Rob Stone, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had that, what was that song? Chill, Chill, Chill Bill. Bill? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Which is yeah, a good that was song. a good song. That was, that was a, a big good song. That was, keep playing, keep playing. that was a big record, man. Yeah. It, was a, it was a pretty big record. Yeah. It was big on radio, satellite radio. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Was Played it, it a lot. 16? It was a hit. Yeah. It was a hit. Yeah, so Rob Stone pulled up on me. Yeah. So But I'm am I supposed to recognize? I'm about to say Nah, I don't think so. Am you, I supposed you, to recognize Rob Stone? It's not what? like it's, he's Bootsy uh, Collins, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, Bootsy Collins. Well, what are you Bootsy talking Collins? about? Someone that's really recognizable, yeah. right? <laughs> With the star gra- <laughs> Who's that? Like, hey. <laughs> hey, baby, Bubba. Hey. <laughs> With the star glasses on? Hey, baby, Bubba. Like, how are you playing tonight? I'm like, oh, Bootsy. I would know Bootsy Collins coming up. Mm-hmm. Well, even Coolio with the fucking braids. Yeah. It's not yeah. like Rob Stone got a distinctive ass look. Yeah. You know. know what I'm saying? It could be like some of, some of a, some black dude. Exactly. In the crown. Yeah. Exactly. And Unfortunately, think, yeah. Not trying to diss him. But. Yeah. No, but there was... I, 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 DM'd him and I said, look, there was a lot of shit going on and I was like, you know, there's a lot of shit going on. I'm right, sorry right. I, I was being an asshole, but it mm-hmm. wasn't it wasn't because of you or nothing or it wasn't even me. It was yeah. like, I, there was a bunch of shit going on. He was like, cool mm-hmm. or whatever. See, I squashed it. I mean, so there was nothing to squash, but yeah. I was waiting when I was listening to that long ass voice note, right? <laughs> uh-huh. 
I was waiting for him to like threaten me in some way. <laughs> so, nah, when he, so when you no. say the next time you I come back to the city, yeah. right? You got to check in. Yeah, yeah you got to check in. Bro. <laughs> I've, I've heard he's like, damn, I got to check in you San, check Diego. In San Diego now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if every time I came to San Diego, I had to check <laughs> in with Rob Stone. <laughs> oh my like, God. yo, by the way, I'm flying, <laughs> flying in. <laughs> Let's grab lunch. And I might stay till Sunday. <laughs> Is that cool? Is that cool? Is that cool? So you're going to pass? Yeah, that's straight. That's straight. Imagine if I had to do that shit. Oh, my God. He is known for snuffing motherfuckers. Yeah, I've though, heard, right? I've, he's knocked out a few people. He's not. He knocked out uh, XXX Tentacion, right? He, yeah, he knocked. No him way. Him. Oh yeah. He sucker punched him. Oh, oh shit! Well, I think he came on stage and he punched him or some shit like that. No, well, like, <laughs> yo, the video is crazy. Rest in peace, XXX yeah. Tentacion. But X was like performing like this ill ass. He was just like singing and he had his eyes closed in the mic. Uh-huh. And then some dude just ran up and snuffed him. And, and he just it. fell like a fucking bowling pin, yo. Oh, oh, shit. He just shit. like he stiffened up and fell. Like it was Holy it was a crazy the shit went wow. viral on Twitter. Yeah. It was viral on Twitter, yeah. right? It was like 2016, 2017. Jesus. Like just man. sucker punched him while he was eyes. Imagine like yo, imagine how <laughs> How much you could fuck somebody up with their eyes closed, just singing like yeah. this? Completely, and he's a little you know, dude like too. the chin is out and shit. Completely yo. relaxed, yeah. body completely relaxed. <laughs> your relaxed. body's like <laughs> and your chin is out. You're like, like in the zone. It's almost like yo hit me right, right here, yeah. like when you're singing and then the mic and shit. Snuff yeah, the fuck man. out of him. Wow, that's crazy because I met him maybe a month ago and he just had a, a calm energy. Maybe he's different now. I mean, he sounded calm as fuck yeah. over there, right? <laughs> yeah, I was calm waiting for him to worry about. I guess I was like, why does this shit happen to me though? That Rob the fact that he remembered your name and found your yeah, Instagram, I was gonna say the fact that he, he did all that you, to hit you up. He was hurt. Yeah, man. he was hurt. Damn, you disrespect them. You just invited me to your next gig. That's actually a good point. Invited like to actually research gig? my name. Oh yeah, yeah. From the club, yeah. Send me your voice note. Yeah. He must have been. I must have ruined his night. He didn't yeah. feel good about that. I definitely ruined his. For him to yeah. call you the next day, yeah, I send you a DM, voice note, voice DM. DM. Yeah, he might have been with a shorty. He was probably a little embarrassed. Yeah, we just touched the city. Yeah. He <laughs> fucked it up. And he probably feels like he's the man in the <laughs> city. Right. You know what I'm saying? Face. He's, he's putting on for SD. <laughs> Damn, there's no rapper from SD. Yo, Yo fuck y'all. How you, you, you diss him like that, man? Nah, nah, I didn't diss him. I didn't do Rob nothing. Stone, <laughs> Rob Stone, the team, Rob Stone. Well, yeah, good. Now you gotta play chill, Bill. Every time, what happens? Security came up to you and was like, "Yo, do you know this dude?" Someone came up to me, like, right. you know. So they 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 messed up too because they they should have been like, "Yo, I got Rob Stone. Stone. Yeah, yeah. He want to know if he can just come holler at you real quick, show some love." Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd have been like, oh, "Okay, right. like if they say some dude, it's like you thinking he's a random." Do you know him? No, they just literally know. pointed at his face, like you know him. Yeah, and I was like. Yeah, no, like but you're didn't... DJing at the time. You're not by supposed way, to be fucking exactly. being bothered with people. I gotta shoot you some belt. You forget every person unless you fucking like really have an interaction with them. You bet you forget for really, really bad. No, so, I forget names, everything. I forget faces. I forget yeah. a lot. You yeah. say you forget <laughs> stuff, but you rem- like when you retell beefs, you remember like every single second. Of a beef you had with someone. No, but that's a story. That's not a person. No, 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 he, no, no. He like forgets. I, I don't know. He no, forgets I do people. forget. I yeah. forget names. I yeah. Every time I have a talk with him about something, I forget. Like, like we yo, record these, we record these podcasts, <laughs> and uh-huh. he forgets. But and we'll, we'll, we, we have stopped. to talk about. Oh, like, the episode. I'm like, <laughs> did I say that? Did we talk about that? What did we say? Did we talk about that? Did we talk? Very forgetful. Yes. Jamie's always like, yes, we did talk about that. Shout out um, to Rob Stone. Yeah, but, shout out to Rob Stone, man. Mm-hmm. I appreciate the voice note. Sorry yeah. for the disrespect. But what happened your next time you went to San Diego? <laughs> this recent time. Wait, wait. Before we get into that, I want to finish this KRS versus shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because I, I I had some points. I had some questions. Mm-hmm. You wrote some And notes. I was I was going to ask some questions. And mm-hmm. I'm wondering if KRS, right? KRS one obviously has a larger catalog than Kane, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he kept going into the 90s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And definitely him teaming up with Premier... For Return of the Boom Bap and all of that Definitely shit. Definitely put him back on the put map Put him back again. on the map. Because that yeah. album was insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With, especially the first single, Out of Here, was crazy. Yeah. And then he followed up with Step Into... Uh, MCs Act Like They Don't Know. MCs Act Like They Don't Know. And mm-hmm. then Step Into My World or yeah. whatever. All uh-huh. that shit. Yeah. And, he's, and he had more relevance after that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Kane in the 90s... Kind of fell off a bit. Well, he started trying to be like... Like the black Hugh Hefner, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He tried to like the black Babby, like the hip hop version of Babby White. Right, man, De La the Soul smooth. played him out too, right? Didn't <laughs> didn't they devote a whole song to him, kind of a little bit? Which song? When they they were talking about the the, he's like, there was a skit they did where they were like, 
remember all these hardcore rappers trying to do R and B. Remember? Yeah, was they going at Kane? I, I thought they was that. going at Kane because at the end of the song they said, "Let's get busy." Remember, <laughs> and that's what Barry White said. That, I never put two and two together, but it, it could cause, have been because that's when um that's that was the Kane and Barry White. But he was song. like doing yeah, he was doing all that but R&B that was, shit. But that was in the beginning of the song. He'd be like, "Let's get busy," and then they, they imitated that shit. Damn man, you didn't know that? Nah, I never knew that. Only reason but, why I know about it, yeah, because he was like doing the what was the Prince of Darkness or some shit. Yeah. Fucking um, something he sampled chocolate. pop life. People on sample Prince pop life. He started doing R and B duets with fucking. I forgot who else he did some shit with. But yeah, he was like during the after the second album, he fell off. He started doing like more R and B, and like his fans wasn't feeling that shit. Yeah, he had that song like very special or something. Exactly, right? that's what yeah, I was yeah, trying yeah. to think of. And yeah. everyone was hating on him because yeah. he was like. He was doing this R&B <laughs> shit. Yeah, it was like, dude, that's like the same Kane that started off with he was, fucking... He started wearing, like, scarves. <laughs> oh, like a little... Ascots. <laughs> Ascots, yeah. He started wearing, like, purple... He, he Like, purple silk shirts, right? Blouses. Yeah. Yeah. Blouses. Yeah, he blouses. started wearing... <laughs> yeah, bl- borderline blouses, right? Blouses. But, like, everyone was playing him from, like, four finger rings. Damn. Right? Yeah, that was the chains. same Kane that came that was, out. <laughs> <the> <laughs> war. <laughs> so, wait, it went downhill... Kind After, of with like, cause I could do it right. Yeah, exactly. That was the third. But that album. was a dope song. A taste of chocolate. Taste of chocolate. Pause. They yeah. had some decent God songs. Damn. In there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a wild name. Cause I could do it right. Yeah. Cause that that was a. I thought that was a good song, but he didn't perform that at the verses. He didn't. Nah. See, I thought that was would have been better than some of the freestyles that he did. I know. Yeah. I wasn't feeling those freestyles. That was like kind of unnecessary. That was definitely like I could see that was Scratch's idea. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> when they he, when he when he when he drop, he's like, "Let's do this for the young for the young kids." Yeah, Jada Kiss did great and, when he did this, and he started like <laughs> trying to rap on like the on the the freestyle shits. Uh-huh. But it was yeah, it was it was a reach. He yeah. could have done because I could do it right. Could have did that. Could have done some more album cuts. Mm-hmm. I think if he dropped very special, I think that still would have been all right. Nah, nah, nah. I don't think so. <laughs> on some that RB was, shit, that was too R and B ish. Yeah, oh, and then man. what? Karis one will come back with. Like fuck this R&B shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> but Kane thought he had like the up tempo shit in the bag. Yeah, and that's what I kind of wanted to talk to y'all about. Mm-hmm. Is that you know with Kane he has like four what he has like four hits. Like a lot of his hits are up tempo, like 120 BPM, 120 20, BPM, um, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking like, yo, like how many hits are there actually in 120 BPM? Like is hip hop is that yeah hip hop hits? I mean back in the days it was a lot. But like, but I, I feel like going into the nineties, they kind of stopped doing that. They stopped doing that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, well, so my only thing is like, it doesn't have at a party. I don't know if it has like the, the playability. Like, but it depends. The constant because rotation. You said in the nineties you know it kind of fell off. Kind of yeah. But I feel like Luke kind of kept that going though. Is that different? No, but you wouldn't do that at like a, a New York hip hop party in the nineties. No. So you you y'all wasn't dropping like scarred and it's your birthday and all that shit like them up tempo nah, high nah, 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 nah. freak nasty. That that yeah. probably wasn't really getting run at New York parties to the two thousands. No way. You know nah, maybe like late nineties. Late nineties. Fletch 2000s. started. Yeah. Folk Master Fletch started playing that shit. Yeah, yeah. Because he was playing on the radio also. Because when I was a youngin, like I would go with my older sister, and now those was like the hits. Mm-hmm. Like it's your birthday, um, scarred, freak nasty, the dip. Like all them up tempo joints. Yeah, they wasn't I mean? doing that in New York. Yeah. I, think maybe, I think maybe that was like more of a because like, because you know what, like New York, we had such like everyone was so boom bapped and, mm-hmm. and and backpacking. I want to rock. 90s. But yeah. Luke was getting some love in New York. He was, but mm-hmm. only because the videos were showing half naked girls. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And everyone wanted to see Pop half that naked pussy. Uh-huh. Even Kane said that. Remember who was he saying? He was talking about somebody. He was like me and Craig G. We would watch the box and. Oh, he said they, yeah. they, they pops when we be watching it together. Yeah, they be watching yeah. just to see the half naked girls. The half naked girls. <laughs> yeah. on the, that's the only reason motherfuckers used to order that video on yeah. the box mm-hmm. is to see those videos and shit. That's crazy. But yeah, it started becoming in rotation. But I'm wondering, like, yo, like, I was thinking, like, yo, there's not many 120 BPM hip hop hits. Nah, it's a few. It's a few, but mm-hmm. there's not like, I mean, think about anything in the 90s or the 100 BPM. It's like fucking thousands, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but like compared to like 120, mm-hmm. like off the top of your head, what could you name? Chub Rock, Chub Rock, right? Dream yeah. right, Heavy D. Now that we fell in love, no, okay, I got no, your no. own, got your own. It thing. takes two. It takes yeah. two, mm-hmm. right? It's like 115, yeah. one, white 114. lines, mm-hmm. white lines, 
Um, uh, if you want to go, if you want to go to the public pop, enemy shit, public welcome enemy. to the Terror Dome. Right. What you said, pop, Kurt? If you want to go pop, like, like bust kiss, the move, uh, kiss, all kiss that you shit. back, uh, yeah. digital underground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, uh, there's not many. Like I mean, we could we're really struggling though right now to find a few. <laughs> I mean, we're not we are not doing the research. Like, what will be the newer ones in one twenty? Like, when was probably it? like Plies, Hypnotize. Uh, that's a I good record. How do you remember that record? Well, <laughs> since, since he, <laughs> I know I, that's a playable. I was, 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 was going to say Outcast. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, like a Bombs Over Baghdad. Uh, no, 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 no. The, oh, way, like, you the way you move. move. The way you move. Yeah. I would say Akon. American Boy. The Akon shit with Eminem. Oh, smack that. Yeah. Yeah. Smack that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, we're, if we're pulling that song out. Then, <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's when you say prize, that's that was in that that's same That's a way era. better record. What, what, was, what was the last 120 BPM hip hop hit? 120 BPM. What was the last one? Hit. Yeah. Dude, I was gonna say Jack Harlow, but it wasn't a hit. I liked it though. The one with Bryson Tiller. Yes. The um. That's why through I, the through the night through the night. Yeah, that was a good record though. She wants really to move. Record. No. She wants to move. Is like was one, that hip hop though? I know. It's and then Kanye, like Kanye had a few, but he was he was singing. Like Love Lockdown was a, was an R and B record. Yeah, it's not it. Uh, um, Black Skinheads though. Yeah, that was a bub- that was a dope record. Yeah, but that was one. I was thinking like, is that a dead BPM for fucking rap? Because even that that uh, City Girls Twerkulator song, it's yeah, one. that was thirty. Like on 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 paper, that should have been a hit, right? Yeah, but it, yeah, I thought it was gonna be bigger, but yeah. that's not even on my radar. I swear, to play. all the old uh, like the the OG DJs were like, "Yo, this is because the formula is a hit, right? Yeah. The way it, the yeah. formula is, it's like, mm-hmm. yo, Planet Rock, right? Yeah, fucking, you know, tw- Percolator, Twerculator. Exactly. This is yeah. a hit. This is gonna be a hit. But do a video it, with some ass shaking. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but it didn't guys. work. Yo. Nah, that at all, man. Why didn't that record work? I don't know. It oh, also came out during a Nick, weird Nick, time. Nicki Minaj, she had um, she, she had sampled "Baby Got Back." Oh, oh, oh Anaconda. Yeah. Anaconda. Yeah. Yeah. Anaconda. But you would play that at, at like a sixty-five, right? But you know what? Yeah, yeah. See that? I, I see that more as a halftime though, okay. than yeah. a double time, right? True, yeah. true. Yeah, because of the drums, right? Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Although I would have given that to you if it was. If I know, it had no, faster drums. That, yeah. But the way they did the drums was like sixty-five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, good call. The, good call. The <laughs> fastest record I could think of probably is Uno, and that's like one ten. Nah, 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 nah. one eleven. That's not right? even hip hop. Nah, that's cool. One twenty. I feel like yeah. one twenty is a dead BPM for hip hop. Right yeah, now. yeah. It it's been for yeah. the past what ten years. Easy. You want to say? Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. more. Well, I think more. it still, still can still have life. It just has to be the right track and the right people on it. Like, but that's what I'm saying. It's so hard. I want to have that song. What was that really good song that was Wild Child? You're a wild, wild youngster. Oh yeah, yeah Nes. Yeah. Nes, yeah. That should have been a hit. Yeah. And that didn't even make it yeah. too. That was a big hit. Yeah. But that was one ten. Yeah, it was one ten. You right? told me it would be great if it was one twenty. It would. What be was the other joint with Ty Dolla Sign? And um, Kanye. Ooh. Fade. Uh, fade. No, 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 no. That's. Oh, yeah. the other one, the one you play, Kirk. The one I ask you about all the time. The one I'm like, I never heard this record. It came out this year. Ego Death. Yeah. Oh. That's like one. Oh, never mind. That's not no, that's like one. I feel like that's like. 120. No, it's 110. I think it's 110. Mm. Yeah, that's a tough BPM, man. Like, I, I wish there was more go to records. Like, because I, I end up finding myself playing like Kulo, Nina Sky. Yeah. Like, all those records around that tempo. You know what I mean? Elephant but you man. don't really play nothing Elephant new. Elephant Man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's throwbacks. You know what? I've been, I've been struggling sometimes because I don't like playing transition records. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. like playing shit that's 100 BPM and then it get like. Speeds up to like you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't like doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never like those records, by the way. Um, I don't like doing that. I like playing like I like speeding up naturally yeah. with the records. Yeah. But it's yeah. like it's always a struggle to go from one ten to one twenty. Mm-hmm. It's always a fucking struggle if you want to keep it hip hop. Because mm-hmm. yeah. what's in that range between one twenty, one ten, and one twenty right now? Like pop records. Dakiti. I can say I already spoke that word up. Dakiti. Yeah. Dakiti. Uh, say so, Doja Cat, Uno, Uno. Uh, um, if you speed up my type, it's kind of yeah. fast. You get to <laughs> my like type is like one hundred and five. <laughs> you can get to like one twelve. Yeah, you, yeah. you kind of get there. It's always a yeah. weird. It's a weird. Yeah, that's what I'm right saying. There. Like I mean, that one ten to one twenty in hip hop. Yeah, like you. Yeah, you don't, you don't have, have that shit. Yet. Unless you no, but that's more pop. The promiscuous girl. There's, There's a lot of like pit bulls and oh, flow riders in that Timber. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Timberland? Pitbull with Flo Riders, Timberlands. Timberlake, yeah. yeah I think Missy has like gossip, gossip yeah. folks. Milkshake yeah. is yeah. around there. there too. Yeah, Milkshake. Oh, yeah. But, but yeah, but there's but no yeah, real hip hop. It's all much. throwback shit, all 2010 and, and older. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that point. That's a good. I mean, but <laughs> well, you were saying like by the mid '90s, the 120 hip hop was a rap. Oh, were you kind of like correlating it to like Kane? Maybe they and I translating to like his the verses, like with what he was doing, like with his songs. Well, I was just I was just kind of noticing that his hit songs, like what Wrath of Kane, Warm It Up, Kane, mm-hmm. Enough Respect, yeah, uh, Set, Set It, it Off, off. Mm-hmm. they're all up tempo 120, and he mm-hmm. was like, kind of like. Saying no one could rap like this fast, no one's rhyming on 120 BPM. Yeah, I was like, yo, he got a point, but then I'm like, you don't really hear his records getting run too often mm-hmm. because not many motherfuckers are doing sets at 120 BPM mm-hmm. for throwback hip hop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, because it's so limited. Mm-hmm. Like you know, you can only play some shit. It's like, like, you know, you, like I said, treat them right, treat them right. I mean, they, you, you play like UMCs, <laughs> right? Well, I mean, they like so yeah. me, myself, and I. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. Or yeah, yeah, like some of those, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, kiss you back, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you can't even that'll really reach. <laughs> Maybe groove is in the heart, the Q-tip verse. Yeah, you know shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> the creator, Pete Rock and Seal Smooth. That's, yeah, mm-hmm. that was like a go-to. I remember it was like Dream Right, the creator, Warm It Up King, Warm It Up. It takes two. Maybe and then Juice, it. like Juice, you could put kind of play. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Know the ledge, yeah, because mm-hmm. that shit was fast, yeah. yeah. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to hot music or something, yeah. You go right? into like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was always that mix around there, like yeah. set it off a of hot music, mm-hmm. yeah, around juice and yep. shit. <laughs> um, what do you call it? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, it was a good battle. I really didn't like. I thought I was kind of disappointed with Scratch. Yeah, yeah. And you mean the DJ battle? You didn't like that either. I mean the DJ. Oh, so oh wait, this was the million dollar DJ battle, right? Wait, did y'all watch that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't. I, I missed that. How, how was it? <laughs> that was horrible. It was bad. Really? It was really, it was bad. really bad. Yeah. It was. A, it was a black girl and a guy, right? And a black guy. Yeah. yeah if, we're, if we're putting race in, yeah, it was a black yeah. guy and a black girl. He thought he was killing it too. <laughs> were they? Was it like a three style set? <laughs> it's sure trying to be some number numerology. It was like it was like wordplay. Uh huh. You you know what man, <laughs> yo, the the yeah the woman DJ she was doing this juggling bit, and it was crazy because the needle was I've never seen Just a jump, needle jump like that jump on the record like there was an earthquake in New York. Boom boom boom. It was, she, was like, she wasn't even catching the juggle. Yeah. You just saw the needle jumping up and, and the cameraman knew because he was he kept zooming in on that shit, didn't he? <laughs> it was more, he probably thought it was like the cool. cameraman was like, oh he probably shit, thought it was no. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, she, man. Maybe she, he was just, it was, she was trying to do juggles and it wasn't even like on like beat. It, it was, was just off. like <laughs> it was pretty was, bad. That shit was not a juggle. So I want to know who casted or who booked those two <laughs> DJs to compete. It was, so well, was this everyone, was this the final for the million dollars? No. Those two? Oh, bro, but this was like I a round. So. I think no, I think this is the final. I so, don't know, because I no saw people way. post the top sixteen <laughs> emails. Like mm. everyone posted their top sixteen email. Like you've been selected. Oh, so it's the top sixteen. Top sixteen, yeah. That was pretty bad. No yeah. juggles. That was like, I've been DJing for like six months or a year. Six <laughs> months? Two months? No, no, Jeez. no. Well, maybe well, maybe not that many people apply. Well, I, would, I would say oh, that. No. But I'm, I mean, I'm sure they got hundreds. For a million dollars, yeah. Or maybe even but thousands. But it never got interest. out. It I doesn't matter because you know why? No matter who wins, no one's going to be happy with it. No. Nah. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine the amount of DJs <laughs> who's going to hate on a DJ Talk winning a million shit. dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Cause they was even hating on uh, the dude that won Master the Mix. Which one? Uh, Who was it? The, this is the last winner. Cause he was doing DJ gigs. He even came to Vegas, and I think he played. Uh, I won't say the venue, but I remember he played. Oh. And, and dudes was like, "Yo, this motherfucker." I like, know who you talking about. Oh, just cause he won Master the but Mix, was he a, out here in Vegas. We kind of know him though. Yeah. Oh, JCO. I was yeah. gonna say JCO. Oh, he won. <laughs> yeah, oh, he did win. He yeah. Won. yeah, but JCO is a good DJ. Yeah, yeah but is, people yeah. were still hating cause he was yeah, doing yeah. like his real like. He was very heavy in his trap bag. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of his re- remixes and edits and DJs was like, why he coming out here doing this? He think because he... No, no, no. But JCO <laughs> is like a rare, like, he's a, he was a, he's definitely... Yeah. yeah. He's another San Diego dude, right? No, he's New York. Nah, New York. I'm sorry. What? Pittsburgh, yeah. isn't he? Is he? Yeah, well, he's, he's not New York. Here. He's not. Well, he was living in New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah. thought he was from New York. I think he's from nah. Pittsburgh. Cause he, I, could, I, I could see that. Yeah. I remember he used, he said that he used to open up for Wiz Khalifa and all this shit. Oh, okay, show. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just remember dudes was hating on him. 
because they was tight that he won the show and he was getting love. But he was good. Red Bull. Yeah. He was touring. Yeah. Yeah, he was doing his thing. He was at a hundred episodes <laughs> hanging out. Oh, he was. Yeah, yeah. he was hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He used to come to New all the time, but he was in town. I don't remember that. <laughs> I told yeah. you I forget I, I, you. I, I, yo. I felt like I was the ambassador. I used to like greet all these motherfuckers that they came to town. I'd be like, "Yo, come stop by." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was New was definitely like the hub for DJs when it was open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but um, yes, yeah, yeah. so, but no matter who wins, DJs are gonna hate on them. Off. Yeah, I feel like it's like remember they had like last comic standing. Mm-hmm. Everyone like all the comedians. No, never no. Respected. If you remember when fucking Mama won the um the Red Bull shit? Yeah, yeah. In, in Brooklyn, and everybody was hating on him. Well, he beat JCO, <laughs> and, he, and he beat Boogie Blind, and it was hating on and him. JCO was hating on Momo too. Yeah, exactly. But it was competition, so it's understandable. Uh huh. But you also gotta understand, like JCO came up there and did like a routine, mm-hmm. and Momo just winged it. Yeah, <laughs> and he played records. <laughs> and then Boogie Blind said that. I never forget. And Momo dropped um, the Jackson Five. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, he, he was there. No, it was on. Um, it was on YouTube. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, he just dropped the Jackson just, Five. They was like, what the. And he won that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's kind of amazing. And you though, could tell everybody was mad too. They was just like, cause they were, they was practicing for weeks to do this battle. Yeah, everyone, like you said, everyone had like I think JCO brought like cheerleaders out. Yeah, he had like a whole <laughs> stage show. Yeah, and Momo just like was backspinning songs <laughs> <laughs> and just dropping a soca song, and then the whole place was just wilding out to soca. And I okay. think Suji was the judge, right? Yeah, yeah, uh huh. So was was and, Vice, I think. and everyone was like, "How could you vote for Momo?" Like he was in. He was like, "Yo, he rocked the crowd the hardest, yo." Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. which and is that's really what it's all about, right? That's what three style is supposed to be about, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> but even Momo didn't take it seriously. He was yeah. just like, "Oh, cool." With he was, the dudes that he was just like, "Yo," tight. he was like, "Yo, Crook, I just won the three style, the Red Bull." <laughs> I'm like what? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, I just won. He's like, I gotta go to the finals. I don't know if I'm gonna go. <laughs> just like that's oh what, I think that's what pissed everyone off. Yeah, he didn't take it he was serious. Just, he was just like, yeah, he was like, yeah, whatever. He's like, I'm around. I think it was like it. some last minute shit that he entered some shit. I remember he said something like that. He wasn't like, yeah, <laughs> yeah he just knew the crowd because it was in Brooklyn and he knew what to play for that crowd. It's like if you played the lotto every day for 20 years mm-hmm. and then you mentioned the lotto to like your coworker. And then they just win the next <laughs> they, they, one. They pick it up. Yeah, that's what it's like. Mega, numbers. They hit the mega bucks. I'm like, wow, this was fun. I won. Yeah, I won. Yeah. And you're like, like yo, this motherfucker. Is... I've been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> I spent all like, this money. They like come in one day. Yo, this is my last day at work. Like what? Like oh yeah, just yeah, hit the lottery. Like, you the motherfucker. Lottery. Yo, thanks for, thanks for suggesting it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been playing this shit for 20 years. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> totally see that shit going. Oh. oh man. Yo, is there anything else to talk about? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, I want to give a shout to uh, oh man, so many DJs. I just did a blended festival in San Diego. Uh-huh. Shout out to Kalika. I was hanging out with uh, Scooter Dynamics. Yo, di- shout out to Dynamic. Dynamic is like, yo, this dude used to open for me like ten uh, years ago. Me too. Yeah. Remember? Mm-hmm. He used to open for us at Stingery in San yeah. Diego, mm-hmm. and uh, he's, he's fucking thing. killing it right now. Though he's like. He's like the lead reggaeton DJ. Latin DJ out there. Yeah. And he yeah. comes out, out here a lot to do uh, the stuff with uh, with Jason. Yeah. 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 He's tapped yeah. in with the artists. He's doing yeah. amazing, man. He was on. It's dope because there were like different stages at the, the Blended Festival we were doing. Uh-huh. And I was on like the small stage and he was on the big stage. That's, that's crazy. And he had um, a, what Randy and Jowl. Uh-huh. Mm. They performed Sayakabo and all that shit. I think they had uh, Nessie perform. Mm-hmm. She was on... Uh, El Pere, what is it? El Pere Sa- Salo? Yo Pere Sola. Oh, yeah. Yo Pere Sola? Yeah. 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 He was on the bad, she's on the Bad Bunny record, right? Yeah, Yo Pere mm-hmm. Sola. But he was like hosting that. That was his whole, that was his, uh, he was like on the main stage at like kind of a main, mm-hmm. main time slot. Yeah. So I was like, yo, you killing it, bro. It's mm-hmm. nasty. That's dope. And he stopped by my gig afterwards and, and he, I gave him the mic and we were kind of rocking back and forth mm-hmm. and his boy, um, his boy got on and hopped on. <laughs> It was dope. I mean, yo, I'm I'm really really happy for his glow up and shit. Mm-hmm. Hanging out with Chaos too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, the San Diego DJs, man, they just the coolest. Mike Carbonell, man. Yeah. Oh, Mike yeah, Carbonell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like so many good peoples. Q was there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, Shift. Shout to all <clears throat> of them, man. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I saw Dioro was on the bill, but I also Dior, saw Dioro killed that shit. I, yeah, I, I think I love that, Dioro. I was on the main stage, uh, like hanging out, and I saw the Dioro show, like. 
That motherfucker killed I'm it. I'm a big fan of Dioro. Yeah, he's yeah. fucking nasty. Man. I, I yeah. told you. I'm like, yo, you have these fucking Dioro edits that you might want to use. He's like, he's on the fucking bill with me. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I posted this um this this Do Not Playlist from Nelly. And everyone, oh, yeah, that was interesting. Everyone was wilding out about it. Really? Yeah. But it was like, it was just an odd collection of songs. That you would never have played. Well, well, I wouldn't have no, played yeah. it anyway, but I mean, some of them I would have yeah, maybe. Yeah, played. There was some, some of them look like bangers. Yeah, yeah. But you could tell he was doing a rest in peace set, so everyone was like, "He had Bismarcky, you know, don't play any Bismarcky, just a friend." He had it twice. I saw DMX, mm-hmm. DMX, mm-hmm. Black Rob, mm-hmm. whoa. Mm-hmm. He had yeah. Shock G, like Humpty oh, Dance. Okay. So it was yeah. like you could tell, like everyone was like, "Why is he listing all these songs?" I'm like, it's obviously part of a rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Set that he's gonna run through all the songs, yeah, yeah. and all of that. But yeah, that was pretty interesting. I didn't catch Nelly's set though, oh, okay. and whatnot. Did you catch uh, Joe Mazza's set? Joe Mazza's <laughs> on the boat with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny when I met uh, when I landed in San Diego. I think he was he was on my flight. He was in front of me, like That's yeah. Good. And then when we landed, I was like, so the airport and the festival is like really close to each other. You can almost walk there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it was like, and our hotel was right near the festival. Mm-hmm. It was like the marina right there. So like, you could almost walk there, but there isn't like a dis- distinct pathway there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when anyway, when I got down, I was like, I'm not. I'm just gonna walk there, mm-hmm. trying to get my steps in. No, you know? no, that's like a New York mistake. Yeah, I, I know. Feel. Yeah. So then, so I was like, I'm gonna walk there, and I'm walking. I see Joe Maz, right? Mm-hmm. And he's looking at Ubers. He's like, and I'm like, Yo, what's up? Actually, I went. I went like that. And he up. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. What? That's my new thing. I do that to motherfuckers because they get real mad. Yeah. Shout out to Joe. They'd be like, <laughs> imagine you walking by someone's like, <laughs> you'd be like, like, Yo, like what a, the fuck? Are you a puppy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't <Anyways. call> it. <laughs> so I did that to him, and he was like, "Yo, what up?" So we was like, "Yo, what up?" And then we were like, "Yo," I was like, "I'm just gonna walk it because it's like right here." I'm like yeah. looking at Google Maps. Mm-hmm. Like it's like ten minute walk. Yeah, he's like fuck it, let's go. So we're like we're walking, and it was like fucking thirty minutes to get there. It was oh, like shit. it was a fucking trek, yo. It was insane. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I was uh, walking with him. He's uh, he's uh, he's having a daughter. Oh wow! Damn, and it was just like you know, talking about life and shit. <laughs> and it was good, man. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. everyone was fuck. Yeah, everyone's. You know, for for me, man, it was like good because it was like, you know, it's like. For, you know, outside of all the politics and the conspiracies, you know, it's like a, it's a, it's like, he's a real dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, real, and you know, everyone deserves a good life. He has a wife. He has a kid. Mm-hmm. He's, he's, you know. So he, I didn't talk politics. You know, just... no, I, de- I, for one thing, I definitely, because sometimes he would text me, right? He would t- send me, um, conspiracies, or he would send me like links. information, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. He would send me links on. He would just text it. Yeah. And I just always ignore it and I always respond, how you doing, man? Mm-hmm. How's the family? <laughs> mm-hmm. I take it on a personal level because mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about the politics of shit. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I feel like, to, to, for me, there's so many motherfuckers that I know that voted for Trump who I actually, I know are good people. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't really explain what the fuck it is. And I, I don't know if it's as black and white as this dude's a racist. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if that's the explanation. But there's plenty of motherfuckers that I know who are actual good people who voted for Trump. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some of them made a mistake. Some of them just believe in his policies. Yeah. Some of them trust this person or that person. Some of it is just financial. Yeah. A lot of it is financial, Yeah, bro. most of it is A lot financial. of it is fucking financial. I don't think a lot of people believe what he believes if they vote for him, if they're good people. But, you know, regardless, it was just like it was good It was to just... Cause I'm like I'm happy like he has he's gonna have a daughter you know he's talking about him and his wife preparing you know like yeah. the baby's room and all of the shit it's just it's like crazy and I'm just thinking like you know even if you don't agree with the motherfuckers policies and all of this shit do they not deserve to have a good life you yeah, know yeah. like should they just what, what what are we gonna do with all these people right mm-hmm. and that's what I always thought about Joe because I remember I, I worked with him for years opening for him at Hyde yeah and so when all this conspiracy stuff started happening all I could see was the good dude I knew yeah so that's I looked past that and I always try to see through that but people are like nah man like why are you still cool with this dude and I'm like that's his view he's entitled to that he's entitled to those views just like he's entitled to what religion he believes in he's entitled to how he lives his life, what he eats, like all these things are personal choice. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. and all I can do is, 
I don't have to support that, but I can still be cool with him and support him as the person. Like you're saying, like the family man, the person, he's a good dude. He might be a little wacky with his views, but that doesn't take away from him being a good person. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think it's, I think it's really easy to talk about motherfuckers you don't know. Yeah. Or you like, yeah. it, it's easy to say shit about people too through an app or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's like, yo, to have a conversation with that motherfucker and speak as disrespectful and as blatantly like rude on Twitter the way motherfuckers say shit. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't like. Some of the shit I see on Twitter and like what motherfuckers say, I literally am like, yo, this dude does not go out at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause like motherfuckers who go out and who are outside, they don't even talk like that, yo. Nah. Mm-hmm. They don't speak like that. But I mean, it was good to see Joe Maz, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and I'm, you know, I, I'm happy for like, you know, he's gonna have a kid. Like, yeah. what do I, what do, what do I, am I supposed to think like, yo, this motherfucker shouldn't work? <laughs> like he should be homeless right. You know what I mean A lot of people feel that way though yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. Like he should be banished From America Like mm-hmm. what, what is the What is the solution To mm-hmm. this yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying Yeah In the end of like ev- like, In the end of like If there's a fucking If my If my house was on fire He was my neighbor Joe Maz would 100% Be in there mm-hmm. Trying to help him off Fucking save motherfuckers yep. Yeah You know I hope I think I don't know I, don't I know, know I was gonna be like, But <laughs> also, uh, also like, No you were in the mask <laughs> <laughs> You think he's gonna like kick down the door and be like, "Did you vote for Biden?" <laughs> I was gonna help you. I had the hose right here. He just spills the water. He's like, he's like saving me. I'm on his shoulder. He's like dragging me out of the. He's like telling me about mask mandates and shit. Dragging me out the. Fire I told house. you, Fauci was. <laughs> Where's your mask now, motherfucker? Huh? I can't I save you now. <laughs> So that's a joke, man. What I wanted to do is I wanted to do an IG story. I wanted to give him a shot, and I wanted to take a shot with him. And I'd be like, "Yo, you know the vaccine was in that, right?" I just wanted to. Do that. <laughs> 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 I would have told him to like spit it out, you know, <laughs> like that. I was like, that would have been funny. I was like, that's gonna go viral. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a that was a fun time, man. But yeah, there was every everyone was DMing me like, "Yo, man." What you gonna do when Joe Mars is on the same bill as you? What you gonna do with him? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna fucking smack What you supposed to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the CDJ on his head. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you think I'm gonna do, man? Push him off the stage. <laughs> Kick him. This is literally someone who's never done anything wrong to a motherfucker ever. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've never, I mean, besides the shit that he, he fucking spews on Twitter. Or the links that he sends you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, god damn, these fucking links. I'm, I'm like, why are you sending me this one, shit? I remember that one time you got upset. I'm like, did you have a good meal? How was your day today? What'd you have for lunch? I'm literally asking him any question. Regular yeah. shit. Let's talk about anything else besides what the fuck you You're want to talk about. humanizing the yeah. motherfucker, yeah. Did you see Squid Games? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you, you finally saw that, huh, Never? I did. Oh, no, okay. I enjoyed it. I liked it. You liked it? Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Are you going to dress like that? I first? am, actually, yeah. yeah That's, of course you are. I ordered my costume already. <laughs> Just don't, don't, don't do comfy. yellow face. Don't yellow go face. in there with yellow face or anything, oh, right? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's all Halloween is going to be. I know. Squid games. Gonna, everyone's going to be in Squid Games outfits. Yo, imagine you know, having that tracksuit already, like just wearing that tracksuit on the reg, and then now it's like fucking huge. That's all in yeah. my feed. Mm-hmm. Like my feed is just Halloween costumes for Squid Games. Y'all dressing up? What? I never dress up uh-huh. on Halloween. I think I'm gonna do. Bane. I got a. I got a gig. You're, so gonna, I gotta, you're gonna be. You're gonna be Rick James again. I'm do Bane for, the, for the eighth year. <laughs> no, no. I'm usually. I'm usually DMC. <laughs> I get a fedora <laughs> with the gold chain and a fucking pair yeah. of You're either DMC or like Rick James. I was only Rick James one year. Man. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. What he was? I'm gonna do Bane <laughs> for Batman. Yeah. But Are you're you black. Have like a- I know. <laughs> But it's perfect. I got, the, I got the bald head. You know what I'm saying? I put the mask on. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how I feel about you. I don't know how multiverse you're gonna be, <laughs> you know, buddy. Making Bane Afrocentric like that. Yeah. Yeah. I already ordered it. I think it's gonna look good. I think he's gonna look. You know why? Good. He just wants to show off his muscles. I was gonna say, yeah. show off his muscles and shit. Look around. Ain't going yeah, no shirt. In. No yeah. shirt. No shirt. No shirt. So, Cook, you're not dressing up for Halloween. I shit. never dress up for Halloween. You've dressed up before. Never. You I did it once. Once what, what was he was he? a scream, the the scream character. Right? Once that was the, my first year in Vegas, <laughs> yeah. and I said I'm never doing this again. I never did it in New York. I never no. did. It. I never dressed. I feel up like in New that's York. a lot of New York people don't dress up. They do. Nah, they do. Right? Yeah. It's like the biggest, like the biggest Halloween is, festival yeah. out there, yo. Black oh, yeah. Bane over here. Yeah. Are you gonna be sure this? <laughs> yeah. I remember, you, I like a tank top or something. I'm gonna wear like the little. He go rip it off during his set. The vest and like the little 
face cover and all that. You know, you're just gonna look like an S and M character, right? He's <laughs> <laughs> not gonna. He's gonna look like the, the gimp that, that the gimp no. from, from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you say Bane D. I always wanted to do that character. Oh, okay, Jamie, uh, are you dressed to the Halloween? No, fuck no. Why not? Well, I, what am I gonna do? I'm not. Wait, no. you're gonna have a Halloween party for your? For you gotta dress up for your party for that, for that Thursday. For yeah. that Thursday. So you gotta dress up. So you gotta oh. dress up. Then. It's your party. I don't know. Yeah. I might just go the the, the Run DMC route. You should be too. naughty Santa Claus. Oh, I, do have, oh. I do have the costume. You should that be Big be Punk. <laughs> oh, I like the Santa Claus though. I like the Santa that's Claus. A heavy that's not a back of the back of the back of the in the middle of little literally. <laughs> Yo, like, Big Pun is good. Yeah, right. With a do rag. Yeah, you just need. Uh, oh, like, he had like a wave cap. No? Yeah, he had a do rag, right? He, he had a do rag. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was a wave. He would do rag and a, wait, wait. He would need a do rag and he would need like a yellow jean jacket matching outfit, right? Yeah. Jean, ja- yellow yeah. jean maybe jacket, like yellow jeans. jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Did he used to have the goggles I mean, on the on the, uh, the album cover? He had the goggles. Yeah. I already have the Tims. And we, and we can make a fake Terra Squad chain. Yes, we can. There we go. Man. We can make See? one out of cardboard and we can and spray it like gold, gold. or yeah. whatever. Yo, dope, dope, man. You have to be big pawn, son. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take consideration for sure. And then Bossa like Nova, Bossa Nova should be what? Who should he be? <laughs> Tony Sunshine. Tony <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> He should, he, be Remy Ma. he should be Remy Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Man. Remy and Pun never crossed paths, right? No. No. Did they? That's a good question. I don't think they so. They had to. No? I think so. I think so. Really? When did no, they, they did. They did cross. Sorry, that was they just never question. put anything. They just never did any music together. That would have been disgusting. But they did come across. They mean, she was part of the Tevis Squad when Pun was still alive. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Really? I mean, yeah. How, How do you know this? Because well, you know me. I love TS, but I don't remember that shit. I don't, cause I don't. Remember. What was what was the first record we heard Remy Ma? Any up? Any up. What year was Any up? Now, two thousand. Well, that was the first time we heard Remy Ma. Was Any up? The first I time think, I remember. I've heard it. Yeah. Nah, she had something else besides that. Before. Yeah. Why would? Wait. Why the fuck was she on that record on the MO, the Annie up remix? That's How did first, she end up on That's the that? first I remember. Her was <laughs> was Annie it? up? I don't remember anything before. Her. Cause you she think, said, "I wish I could bring Big Pun back." Bitch run that. Oh, bitch yeah, that's run. right. Yeah. yeah. Damn. You think she was just in the studio and they were like, yo, hop on this? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. A, I mean, I mean no, she is a good MC. Do not say that. She's least. nasty. Yeah, she's incredible. But what would have been her relation to getting on that record? <laughs> she must have just been in, in the studio, right? Yeah. Well, that was on Loud Records. I know Pun was on Loud. Yeah. And you think Steve she was Griffin? maybe signed? Maybe, yeah. Early on, I mean that's that is the Foxy MLP era. Loud, MLP Annie Re- that was on Loud. Yeah, I guess it was. Damn, that was on the second or third album. I'm remembering the album cover, like the vinyl cover now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. That's interesting. Yeah, there's a story behind that. Maybe we'll have Remy Ma on here one day. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I, I love Remy Ma. Imagine having Papoose. And Papoose? When are we? Papoose. Papoose. Don't Papoose. say it like that. You sound like Papoose. 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 Yeah. Papoose. <laughs> Papoose uh-huh. are, are we ever gonna get artists on here? I think what's the only artist that we had on here? Sadat X. That, that was that's fun. it. That Lil John. Fun. I mean, Lil, yeah, Lil, uh, John. Lil John. That's a Lil DJ. John he but as a counts. DJ, Fat Man Scoop as a DJ, oh, kind of God. a DJ, <laughs> right? We don't that have any counts. artists on. Let's do some heavy hits. Sadat was dope. Though. Taylor Prop Stone. Maybe we can get him. On. Sadat X was dope. So that oh X yeah, in, yeah. In, in, invite Rob Stone on. We don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? He be out here too. You want to hear this voice? Yo, he gave me bad flashbacks, nah. like every West Coast dude I dated, like you know, really? they all sound like that. Y'all, my G. They all sound <laughs> but, like that. It's just like, I ain't gonna I'm let playing. you slide, my G. <laughs> Who can we get though if we was to get an artist? But we, I've been wanting know, Boz on here forever. I've been telling Boz people. I feel amazing. like you guys would get starstruck if we had an artist. I want Boz in here. We nah, do some we training. Was, uh, we was good with Sadat I X, I feel like right? we can get Boz. I want, I've been telling you I want to get we Boz were, on. We were, we were having a conversation where MoMA, Boz, and, and Eve, Eve mm-hmm. president of Dreamville, mm-hmm. would be on the same podcast because they're all brothers. I don't know if motherfuckers know that. A lot yeah. of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> yeah. that DJ MoMA and Boz... Boss. And E, president of Dreamville, is their brothers. And yeah. Moma's the oldest brother. Damn. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I thought it was one more older than Moma. No, nah, he's the oldest. Oh, it's, and then there's the other one. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, I remember when Moma would throw parties and we'd be spinning, 
Boss and was like, the I don't even think Boss could even he was old enough to go, but I'd see even there hanging out in the corner like, well, yo, this is crazy. Like yeah. we can drink and we're in like you know, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was just like I can't believe we're out in I mean, a club. Like, <laughs> Moma told me that that Boss used to be his opener and he taught Boss how to DJ and he used to do the good spot with him. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. I never saw him that. Yeah. And then that's yeah. what, he said that J. Cole and them would show up to party. Yeah. And there was like six motherfuckers. And they're not, they're like six, four each. Yeah, it's it's just so crazy to, to remember them back 20 years ago mm-hmm. and then see them now. It's just like, it's crazy mm-hmm. to see what they've built Yeah, as a whole when I was at that show, that, that J. Cole show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even Night Train. Like, when I first met Night Train, he was packing... Online orders for like Boss's Fiends clothing Merch, line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know, and where Night Train is now, like, it's crazy. He's it's, a, killing, it's killing it right now. He's a major, yeah, he's a major fixture in LA nightlife right yeah. now mm-hmm. as a DJ. Yeah. Um, I don't want to hang out with him though. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah, that's, while you were talking, that's all I was thinking of. I don't want to hang out with Night Train now. You said that, that you Why Cause, you, cause he's hating him In a couple no, years No no I wanna hang out with him Like in his 30s I think he, He's gonna be really fun In his 30s Pause Like It's gonna be real fun Right now he's like a, it's He's in a transition stage I wanna We're gonna really Like have a good Like sit down And have a good drink Have a good have Conversation some good Scotch and whiskey In our 30s <laughs> yeah. yeah Yeah Right now he's just too like you know. In his thirties, you're in gonna his 30s, be. I'm gonna be some <laughs> older. <laughs> in, in your thir- in your I'll be in my 30s? late forties. In my late forties. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but it, what do you call it? It's it's impressive to see what they built. Mm-hmm. Like it's just it's insane. Yeah. But anyway, let's end this shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, never. You wanted to actually give a shout, right? Yeah. Rest in peace to um. I don't know to all my New Yorkers out there. I know Granville Adams. He was an actor on Oz. Mm-hmm. He used to do the doors in like all the nightclubs in New York back in the days. He used to work at Nell's, um, Studio 54. He used to be the doorman at Jetty's in the Hamptons. Actually, that was the first time I met him. He was, first time I ever did the Hamptons, it was like me and him was like the only black people out there. And we had a room upstairs at the, the rooms in Jetty's. We mm-hmm. were staying there. So yeah, he passed away. He was battling cancer. Oh man. Fortunately, yeah, he passed away last week, so. Much. Still young though, right? Must have been. Nah, he wasn't even. He was like fifty nine. Fifty nine. Wow. But he looked mad young though. Look, yeah. All right. Rest in peace. Rest yo. in peace, Granville. Rest, yeah. rest in peace. All right, y'all. So we'll see y'all next week. Yep. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Peace. 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 Bye. If you want to watch more episodes from Road Podcast, click either links on the left or the right. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and get updated on new uploads throughout the week. Peace. Yeah.